and I'm gonna get it. You know I be on the way. Welcome back to the Coliseum, presented by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. What is going on, everyone? And welcome to week number four of the Coliseum, an eight-week Mortal Kombat 1 series here. I am... Look, look at him over there. You can't even hear him yet, but you guys are about to hear the thunderous voice of my co-commentator for this one. I can't wait for you guys to get him just... just, just Fuck it, it's Destroyer, everyone! Welcome to the Coliseum, man. Welcome back. You're a regular over here, everyone. Thank hey, you, you, thank you. This is, the comments are going crazy. Oh my god! Where the fuck is Kaboos? I, I can already see him. Let's go! Oh man, yo, listen, you know, you invited me here and I was like 100%. If I want to have a good time, I know it's going to be with you, Mr. Aquaman. And, you know, you're running a crazy show over here in the Coliseum. And I heard the action. The top eight tonight is a wild one. So I'm here to see this craziness unfold. Mortal Kombat 1, Raiden, Johnny Cage, Kenshi, I'm ready. Absolutely. There are so many new names in this top eight. Sorry, I was just communicating to one of our top eightists. I'm a, um, I'm a giant compared. Do you see this? Yeah, dude, you're huge. And you're, <laughs> and you're, and you're, and you're kind of... <laughs> Can we be serious real quick? Destroyer looking so healthy over there, looking so fit. Let's go. Listen, it's a lot of McDonald's and yeah. Listen, Ooh, wait, I wait, wait, yeah, yeah. I Rick, blow me up with the diet coke. Rick, blow me up. The, I, you know, I get the diet coke, so it's, it, I'm on a diet. Bigger. You want to know the whole order then? Bigger. Oh shit! There we go. Yeah. I do, I yeah. Do the the two-piece McNuggets. What I do the, the medium fries and I get the diet coke. Keep it healthy. Mm, you said diet coke, right? That's yeah. Right. Avoid those sugars, everyone. If you want to be like this, avoid those sugars. There you go. There you go. But no, man, you know, I, I know this top eight tonight is going to be a wild one. I heard some really cool names. And we have a young prodigy in this top eight as well. From, um, we were told that he had competed at least once or twice in Champions of the Realms before yes. joining us for the first time last week here in Coliseum. Uh, we'll actually pull up the bracket from last week so that you can get a taste of how last week went as well. Destroyer. Uh, Bandinos took it with the rain. It rained uh, daggers from the sky upon each and every single one of us is what happened. Wow. Ban Bandinos with that rain uh, took week number three. We'll be a finalist here. Uh, but one of the biggest stories was online kill 14 years old. Prodigy Holy. of an Evo finalist 14 years ago. His... Or, uh, no, no, wait, wait. His, I think his kid is 16 years old, uh, and it happened 14 uh, years ago. All I know is that I remember his kid was, I think, two years old I, when, he, no, when, I, he, when he won an Evo medal. I think the kid is 13 years old. It's something like that, man. It's crazy. He's, he's very young, but... 100%. So it's going to be really hey, interesting. Hey, math is going to be game. hard throughout the entire night. Let's be serious. Should we just get the Which frog is, on stream we, we for did. a quick second? We, we did. And they couldn't even hear <laughs> They came in here when it comes up either. It just, it just goes right to nothing. Uh, wow. But... I was going to say, math is really, really hard, which I'm going to segue to the fact that we actually got rid of points here at the Coliseum uh, Destroyer, and it's simply just winner gets into the finale where we're raising some money. I like it like that. That is completely crowdfunded. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what, $500 is what we're sitting at already? What in tarnation? Wait, I don't remember it being at that level. Yeah, I don't either. It was like 400 last for week, time. Th for week three. We'll drop $500 yeah, in here, man. Yeah, yeah. Which one of y'all did something? I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna get the new bracket in there. No, no, that's not right. Kenneth, Kenneth Woodward putting in thirty-six dollars said, "Let's start at five hundred dollars." Thank you so much, Kenneth. Almost single-handedly sponsoring the Coliseum uh, there. Thank you so much, Kenneth, and others that have donated to that prize pool. Thank you so much. Says it's Sunday, bloody Sunday here in the Coliseum. That's what this is about to turn into with oh, some man. of the surprising names in this top eight tonight. And there it is. Look at this thing. This top is tub. it. Top this is the top bottom. eight. This Online is... Kale versus Grinch. Dude. Get Wreck Yo versus Yakuza. Are you kidding me? And uh, so this entire top eight starts in winner's side. That's the both interesting us, about both it. Both of us, and we've been around through every single realm. We've traveled like wizards in uh -huh. Tolkien's universe, man. We just, we've just been around, right? And yeah. neither of us e even know who SJB is. 
No, man, and I, I've heard it. You know, VLE is actually, I believe, the same team Just Nasty represents, if I'm not mistaken. So this this team right here, a clan, whatever this is, VLE is going on here. These guys are putting in some work. Can somebody in the chat let me know what VLE stands for? Um, I need uh, to know. I need to know. I think VLE is short for VL Gaming now, but I, I could be wrong. You too. sure it doesn't start uh, for Violent know, Little Elephants? Violent little elephants sounds Violent like... Violent little um, elves? That sounds like my favorite Bloody Roar character. We've got Online Tony in the live uh, Twitch chat right now, who is the father of Online Kale 213. We are just waiting for Online Kale to uh, respond to us in the Discord for this first match, Tony. So if you can, uh, connect with us in the Discord so we can get some invites out uh, for this first match. We do like to try to have the players host the, the King of the Hills Destroyer here. Yeah. Uh, just to try to make the connection as good as possible someone else will say oh, that 100 man listen i you know me and you were both in the same field of uh hosting online tournaments and i i know the little ups and downs we got to go through with mortal kombat one but anything to give these players a better playing field in this uh online you know scenario is definitely the move we all Are have we, a smooth we're, we're starting from the top huh we're going straight into online kill versus grinch oh yeah right into it wow. um and, and and someone in the chat who I, I, I don't know who that is because the name's going to be different, but it says, I didn't even know that I got top eight. It says, I'm Grinch. Grinch, congratulations. You actually won a tiebreaker. And for everyone that uh, may be watching for the first time, I'm going to explain how the whole format works uh, because top eight is set right before we go live. And Grinch actually tied for the eighth place position with Gurr. And I'm sure you guys know who really? Gurr is. And there are tiebreakers in effect for when that happens. They both went seven and two today. In the matchmaking stage or in the qualifying stage everyone Holy. plays everyone plays for two and a half hours everyone and man at the end of that you place based on how you perform so your record after that two and a half hours is how you place so they both went seven and two okay and grinch the first tiebreaker is uh how many individual games that you won in your losses which might break your brain at first so in their losses um grinch had one of his losses go one and three Gurr didn't have any of his matches with a win in his actual losses. Therefore, Grinch actually won the tiebreaker and is your eighth seed tonight. Holy cow. That is unfortunate for Gurr, so, but I mean, big shout outs to Grinch getting that spot into this top eight here because, it, 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 my God, you know, this, is, this, this wasn't an easy task for these players. I'll give you that much. And it's crazy to think about that after two and a half hours of playing some of the best players in North America, what it came down to for those two players was one individual victory in one of his losses. That is how cool the format is here on the Coliseum. And that's what got that man in top eight today. Sheesh. Well, and I, I see also Sunio's in here going up against uh, actually one of his, his teammates, Ludi. That should also be a really interesting match. But you, you know what I think of, man, when, when I see the name Sunio in a bracket? I think of Peacemaker, and I think of that gun that Peacemaker has. And it makes me Can wonder. Can we talk about you what this man is bringing to the to, What? Do you think he's going to be anything like uh, RoboCop? Real stiff? No. It's stupid? No. Well, animation-wise, possibly. Because even, you know, even and especially seen as portrayal of the character he was very stiff in his you know very very 45 degree hold with his you know 445 inch pythons that he's got for yeah. arms you know always very stiff with those kind of holds so i expect that to be there but man what could happen with the head. helmets and the eaglies and the guns and who knows listen the only question that's been on my mind since they announced uh peacemaker aquaman is I i'm trying to figure out if peacemaker's thighs are going to be as thick as omni man's there's no way there's simply they're you don't think there's a way for that to be a possibility you can't beat the viltrumite watermelons that are back there dangling from the vine that comes from that planet man i don't even know what i'm saying anymore i hope that made sense no you know you you strike a very a very fair point you do strike a fair point i'm just saying you yourself can attest to what the man is packing back there and it is a heat that could ignite a solar system <laughs> <laughs> And I don't, I don't think they, they gave us... Uh, do we know what cameo we're supposed to be expecting next? Because I know they've been kind of releasing the character and then the cameo kind of a, a, like a week or two after. Do we know who we're expecting next? Are we getting Farah? Because, bro, 
I I need to know, is Farah going to be on roids or is, is it going to be like little tiny annoying Farah? I need to know because if y'all remember in Mortal Kombat X, anyone that's played the character tower for Farah Tor, Farah ends up becoming the Tor. And so in theory, we should be seeing giant, massive Farah. Uh, like part because didn't they have part Shokan blood? Like it was like a hybrid flesh pit Bro. experiment. I don't know what kind of blood they had in them, but maybe guys, maybe. Them dudes, them dudes were <laughs> very, very big, you know? Very big. Very, very, very big. And we got ourselves our first match on here, guys. Top eight of week number four. Three of our finalists are set. We saw the bracket when we went live that last week Bandinos took it, but our other finalists, the Mighty Unjust and Shuleta. And we'll find out who's gonna join him tonight. One of these eight players. Shuleta. First match on stream. Oh right, no. Here. Are we looking here. at Storm Cell and Baraka? Strap yourselves in for what you guys have seen a hundred times before. Hey, look, you know, as as much as people hate Raiden, I, I'm always gonna have that little soft spot for this They're... character. You know, the God of Thunder, that's my boy and even though you look the the, the all, every character deserves the spotlight every once in a while and when'd you ever see raided this broken before huh I mean, don't when, get me wrong. He, he was pretty far more far more broken when mkx launched are you kidding me <laughs> did, did you see year one combo breaker did, 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 did <laughs> are you fucking and then, and then, Ma two. master Four of storms in in the last patch are you kidding me nah yeah nah, it was nothing yeah, he was something all right all right what's going on these players really I, I'm gonna need you to right I'm gonna now. need you to rewind about seven years and go watch a rewind in master of storms in the last patch real quick and then come back to me with your full analysis on how much of a piece of shit that character was from the from the ground from from the ground up what somebody stop this I don't have to worry about sponsors I don't have to worry about anything here I'm a madman and who, speaking uh, of that, Chris. oh wait, wait, I shouldn't curse. Online kills here, online kills here. 14 years Yo, old. Listen, his dad, his dad sorry, is guys. watching, bro. He said I'm if sorry. you say one more curse word, he's going to disconnect the internet cord from his son's uh, PlayStation. Yeah, I apologize. You better, you you better better give him the advantage, bro. You better stop respecting. <laughs> as long as he does it after the match starts, I guess I can't really <laughs> stop it, huh? As long as it says it's wired, I can't really stop Ooh. doing it. And there it is. That's the smart stuff. You got to remember, you know, if you're going up against a cameo like Striker, you want to go for those down two punishes. You know, it, it gets some good damage, knocks your opponent away, and doesn't allow him for the follow-up counter attack. Here we go, though. Jesus Christ. Online kill, getting a breaker off of Grinch. And I was feeling the Lao right there with the armor says it's gonna be my turn no matter what. This is a battle of supremacy in controlling the narrative. Oh, he's trying to keep his turn as Grinch right now. And there's an anti-air, the overhead covering it. Trying to get away from those lows, which is one of the biggest weaknesses. Or if you saw the latest tech against Raiden Storm Cell, against Down One Storm Cell, just holding up back can get you out, depending on the character. Here comes the, Seriously? The, the striker pressure. Oh, yeah. It's out there in the wilderness. Some anti Storm Cell tech. It's happening. I, I got to check that out, man. And you're saying this character specific? Very interesting. Yes. I wonder if Baraka falls under that uh, privileged character list there. Chat Let's go for a random forward three, but the grenade's going to keep him safe. Good throw from online Kale. The wake up down one from Grinch. This dude really is a Grinch. The Grinch who stole frame data. <laughs> he's, he's trying to steal his turns <laughs> every chance he can. The Grinch who stole his turn. Well, I was going to do it for him as well. Grinch still was working every single time. This time was ready for it. My the conditioning. God. Not paying off. Got a random stand for. <laughs> Try to end him with a roundhouse. It's a pretty juicy back and forth right now. Oh my god, that actually connects the forward three, four. Gonna catch him slipping. That's gonna be a full combo conversion into GG's. Grinch taking game number one. Pretty impressive stuff here, man. And he's playing a, a, a Raiden character combination that you do not get to see quite often. His Raiden uh, Kung Lao Aquaman. Yeah, this is not your everyday Raiden. You know, you usually get Storm Cell backed up by something that, uh, you know, can be assisted in the middle of it versus something that he has to put out beforehand in the mm -hmm. Lao hat to get anything out of it, which is really in interesting. It's, a, complete, kind it's, of a, it's a completely different me methodology, I should say. 100%. You, cameo usage. you know, it, it's not just down one Storm Cell, down one Storm Cell, down four Storm Cell, standing one, down one Storm Cell. You actually get a little more depth into this, and you get some crazy mix-ups, you know. Cell. 
meaty storm cell having access to that low hat is gonna allow all these overheads from uh raiden to just become way more threatening online kill is gonna have to be careful i think online kill has to tell his dad to get the fuck out the room because this guy is not letting whoa. him concentrate whoa there are children present oh sorry I told to get the fuck out of the room and say you kick and win. <laughs> you, 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 but, you, bro, but I remember he, back in the day when does. I competed in, in MKX, my, my pops used to stand by the doorway <laughs> no way. and watch me compete. And bro, I'll be no. nervous as shit. And then, you know, look, this dude, the dads, usually, if they're not like back in the Evo champions, they don't know what the hell is going on in the game. And this guy would be like, why'd you let him hit you with that combo? I'm like, motherfucker, because I got <laughs> open up the overhead. He'd be like, why'd you let him open you up? I'm like, bro, because he mixed me up. I would never let my father watch me compete. Are you kidding Yo, me? The, the, my dad would think like, like <laughs> he would just see the the game in a whole different way. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, and I, I can't even imagine right now Tony watching this unfold. But okay, Kale getting some damage on the board. And one of the great things about Baraka is that it single-handedly could take away wake-ups uh, with really that meaty. That that is a mix-up in and of itself. It, if you if you read the overhead, you can disrespect, but chances are the armor break's coming anyway. There's a mind game after where words of are you gonna crouch or not for the high, which can be taken away as well. Just built in mix ups that Baraka has. 100% you are not lying about that. That's gonna be a fat one punish off of the throw there. Grinch trying to steal Christmas once again. You're gonna catch him with another no. throw here. Is he gonna set up the loud hat? No, just goes for a projectile. What are these micro ducks from this man? <laughs> he just stole his turn on wake up. He said, "No presents, no presents for you this year. You're getting cold." Backing away too, playing the health lead now. As Grinch says, "Come to me, staying away from that low range overhead reactable at this distance." And whoa, snipe down with the was a stay one. Eats a low anyway, and this is dangerous in the corner. All right, now online kill does have fatal blow. I feel like if he opens him up one more time here, he should spend it. Oh, that's gonna be a down one, disrespecting the frames. He's gotta let that fatal blow rip. He can actually take no. this. No. 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 Is that gonna couple? No. Oh, this was a throw, but it's broken. Are you kidding me? Going over the back dash is kind of resetting neutral here. Online kill playing out of his mind, but the counter punish there from Grinch gonna take the round, tying things up here. Aquaman, this oh match my is intense. Goodness. Off of such a godlike flawless block two to avoid the frame advantage of the jump kick and it starts with the entire stand four eats another low. And on my kill, keeping him in the corner in what feels like a huge battle. Finally walks after the face with another Holy. armor break setup, which is just the string. Eat these blades. And Holy boop, boop. moly. You know, that's kind of, that's basically the same shit that Raiden does. Down one storm oh, cell. Baraka yeah. spamming you would, would stand for 24 seven into striker. That that's chip out was kind of wild. The, the chip is what really people don't pay attention to. And no. Baraka can be built around that alone. Oh, he really can. Beautiful oh. usage there. Backing him up with the striker as well. No decision here from online kill is going unwarranted right now. This guy is playing very calculated. Gonna get a breaker off of Grinch. He just needs one more touch to take the game and tie things up one to one. Oh, amazing. The mind games are being wow. played right now. Please grab that last like 30 seconds if you can. It's two reads of a row that online kill did. Uh, to try to open his opponent right there, whipped the overhead like half screen and covered it with their striker. And you saw that Grinch didn't fall for it. But then trick number two, the jump back, spin. Or is it jump back or jump forward? Anyway, the jump and the spin, it makes you want to try to anti-air. It makes you want to try anything. But man, oh man, once that spin is active, Destroyer, it is just, it, it, it's just un hard to beat. Boom! It really is. It really is hard to beat. And I've, I've noticed a lot of Barakas have that tendency to throw that uh, spin out, especially when they're going up against the Kung Lao cameo. Because even off of a read, you know, usually the, a player would throw Kung Lao hat, and the overhead is the last thing they expect. So Baraka, being one of the very few characters that can just whip out an instant overhead, catches people off guard. Especially safely at that. Advancing oh, yeah. both the low and overhead option, and here we go. Just starting off saying, I'm coming to you with some mix, and it's coming in safely. 
chip time. And there's one thing that has been looked like a hole in Kale's pressure has been mistiming their striker, uh, especially in the corner. Hasn't been able to do you know the special to jail. Grinch has been able to get some turns and therefore get some positions out of the corner. I mean, Kale, right now, so working on pits. a hood hey. flawless. Online Kale swinging for the fences here. Grinch trying to gain composure. He just did it. Having the striker to back him up as well. That's so smart. Couple more back threes. I'm seeing flawless blocks here from Grinch. He's trying to stay alive. Gonna go for the throw. What's the follow up? Very so smart, smart awareness the there, <laughs> but still gonna get caught with the grab. That's the thing is you sit there like, man, I gotta take this, and it's gonna be his turn afterwards. So it's what a mind game your opponent can play when you're there lost in the police blocks done. Seriously. Jump back, Reed, and barely got over the hat there. Kale got the turn with the down one and mixed town. We go to the corner. Gonna chop away the health bar, put on the bleed. Has all the resources now available. It's gonna build more than a bar on block. Are you kidding me? That that string built so much on block one of the first times I looked down while he was doing it instead of up to look at the chip. Oh, he's gonna. No, if he would have converted a full combo off of that, I would have lost my mind. Online Kale. He's in trouble here. He was going for the Twitter clip. The sequence. He really was. Just interrupts the lightning. These light light bars are almost as even as can be. Don't tell me that worked. Oh, it stops him. He's getting locked up. That's the online kill special. I don't know what he went for there, but what? look out for another lockup. I've seen kill mount incredible comebacks. And give him another one to react to and shut him down again. Still alive though, is the young man the audacity to try back to back. He's testing his young man reactions. I don't blame him for it. <laughs> he locked him up again. Uh oh, this might be GG's. I don't know. Grinch nah. trying to run the timer here. We got about 15 seconds on the clock. He went over it. What? Still alive. 11 oh. seconds. We're for the grab. Is this death? It's a chip out. They're going to still go to my mind, Kale. You have to believe in the magic. I have never seen this kid lose when he gets a double lockup for the comeback. Bro, what are we watch? watching right now? Please, guys, go back and watch week number three of the Coliseum. You're going to see the same exact thing in game five situations. Doesn't matter. He will lock you up, Destroyer. You talk about no fear as a young man. We're witnessing it live. No, you, you are right about that. One thing I noticed in that last match there is a Grinch. He went for the down one. I think he wanted to bait him on a Storm Cell but he should have went for the storm cell there. That could have been probably enough to chip out online kill unless he went for that flawless block. That was un... Oh, no, wait, actually, he doesn't have Kano. What am I talking about? Yeah. And we, we see a switch to another variation of Raiden that we don't see. Raiden Goro? Any day, Raiden. I don't think I've ever seen Raiden Goro. Are we gonna see storm cell into Goro? I don't even know. Could see some incredible conversions with the raise the roof though. I think with Storm Cell, he can actually get Goro to jail and, and make him play. Yep, there it is. There it is! And, and absorb the opponent if they press a button. Goro, the yep. ultimate buddy there. Stagger into the throw. And Grinch is cooking. Has a Goro back in the oven. Watch him with the whole string. But Nude, look out for the striker too. A lot of us can fall for that with the, with the movement and the dashes. Especially the dash ranges. You can really cover those cameo summons. Let me chip. Stay under the whole thing. That was a nice little jump in setup that he tried to get going there. The jump in with the Goro backup. My God, Mr. Aquaman, I think we might be going to a game five situation here if Grinch keeps his play up. Oh, ends the combo with the down back two. You'd never see that from Raiden. Do you think it was intentional? Was it intentional? Possibly beautifully spaced right there. He's with Punisher to jump in. Is that the striker? Grinch is facing right now. An adaptation against the striker. So good right now. Wouldn't have expected the amplification was online kill there. Next oh. to Punisher with the back dash. That's GG's. If he doesn't drop this, that should just about do enough damage here. With the Goro conversion. Very nice. Grinch tying it up two to two. We got ourselves our hey. first game five to start off the Coliseum. We're about to light it up. And can you put us on the screen, Rick, real quick? I just saw the uh, the score would go away. I apologize. Oh, there we go. If you watch Frosty Faustings, Mortal Kombat 1, the whole crowd, every time Goro won a round with it, they, they all did this. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, the uh, Raise the Roof. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. At first, I thought everybody was just, like, over-cheering some of the players. I was like, man, no, a lot of these players have the some, Goro. some big and fans. Then, but, yeah, wanna, people were just loving the Goro. I want that to be a thing, guys. If you ever see Goro at an offline or even here online, right now at home, just start raising the roof. Just, just start pumping your guns. It's, it's a really good workout anyway. You want me to pump my guns? <laughs> you want me to pump my guns? Mr. Aqua, I'll pump yeah. my guns. With the, with the, with the, I want to do it. I want to inject the protein directly into your arm. If you never felt the pump before, you'll know there's nothing better than the fucking pump. But, uh, what you are going to do is you're going to go like level 3 venom in the veins. From the injustice, I'm going to a sudden death here in the Coliseum, oh, baby. Oh, 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 Light it up. a sudden death? Wolf of the flames. Holy Our blaze cow, here. You know, an online kill says thank you so much for this opportunity to display this madness that has been his Baraka wow. here in Mortal Kombat 1 at 14 years of age, a Mortal Kombat prodigy. And hold on a second, Grinch says your Christmas can still be stolen. I don't know, Mr. Aquaman. You might have to put out the flames. This is fueling online kill a little too much. I think this might have got online kill a little too excited here. This guy's going crazy, swinging all over the place, and the back three is going to take it. Putting him on match point. That's so funny. Did you see that win round taunt? He pulls out the MK11 flag, yeah, he looks at it, and, and then he tosses it. Away. it he's, which, he's, like, he's like, I don't need this shit anymore. It, it, that's, that's Mortal Kombat developers, I think saying that even they're admitting that the flag was useless in Mortal Kombat 11 because <laughs> it wasn't not a single nobody person used, nobody they're, like, the flag. They're, like, they're like yeah it was it was shit just throw it away it, it, pulled it. It. fuck this flag just threw it on that the was ground the, that was the biggest crime in Mortal Kombat 11 flag Baraka never got, never got to live never got to see a light of day online no, kill zoning zoning Baraka right now just bleed sparking the health bar away right now we're gonna bring back a Mortal Kombat 11 Baraka flag only tournament I might win that. I actually labbed it. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's one of my mains. Okay, just kind of backing off here. Online Kale riding one of the fattest life leads to take Damn. the game, and that's going to do it out of nowhere. The Baraka Barrage closing it out. Goes straight into a brutality. Oh, no. The Halloween one. The Halloween brutal. Four. Trick or treat. Wow, wow, Wubsy. That's gonna just about do it here. GG's. I have never seen. Kill. I've, I've never seen a 14 year old flex on another player in Mortal Kombat with a $10 fatality. You never seen that before? I've never seen that before. Man. Well, that's gonna be advancing online kill here. But, you know, luckily, this is a all winner side top eight. So. That means Grinch still has an opportunity to climb back up this Mount Olympus to get back in that loser side grand finals and potentially take it against whoever makes it there. Don't count Grinch out of it just yet. He's playing Raiden, super strong character. He's got some really diverse cameos to pair up with the character. And who knows what this guy's going to bring out the next time we see him on stream, Mr. Aquaman. Are we streaming everything? We are streaming everything but losers round nice. one and possibly a match of losers quarterfinals um, or two. Yeah, so there's a chance that we are going to get a couple matches off stream and losers. But for the most part, everything on stream, guys, strap yourselves in. All right, I'm ordering Chinese food. Who do you want? All right, let me get the General Tso's chicken. All right, chat, what do you want, chat? Chat, let me know what do you want. More Chinese food on me. I'm going to get myself the chicken broccoli with no broccoli and puff up rice. Ugh. But in that, you gotta say it in that exact way. You gotta say the chicken broccoli with no broccoli. <laughs> Poor five rice. I swear to God, because they, they don't have a name for the chicken. It's just, it's the chicken. Oh, you get it. You get it. Leave me alone. You get it. Yeah. Hey, yo, homie said the crab ragoons. You know that's imitation crab they put up in that shit, right? Nah, 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 nah. Get somebody banned this guy now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. You get him his crab ragoons. Somebody nah, get I, his crab ragoons. They don't use real crab, so I let it rock, you know, being as the lord of the ocean and all. <laughs> all right. It looks like the next match is going to be a very juicy, 
Very doughy one. Get right, yo. Going up your, against Yakuza. Doughy night. Mm. I don't know, Mr. Aquaman. I feel like we might be seeing their tried and true characters here. Johnny Cage Johnny and Kenshi. Kenshi. Yeah, I don't see it no other way unless they've been labbing. You know, this game is... It, it, it's getting its miles in. What What are we gaining on the sixth, seventh month already for Mortal Kombat 1? I don't People even know, man. are discovering Ta some crazy stuff in this game. Time's a construct. Yakuza Knight, if you're here, what is your PSN? We would like to invite you to a King of the Hill two-player match. We, we'd I'm love pretty to see sure what you're it's, all your, about. it's Yakuza Knight. Try, try as it's spelled out, Rick. Do you remember Yakuza Knight's PSN? Does, does anything pop up? Yakuza Knight, how you doing? It's me. I play Kenshi. And I'm not Carrie. What are you talking about? Rangers. This is a battle for the sword, lore-wise. Yeah, you see, it is, right? You, can't you, you look... Oh, get wrecked. Sent invites. You look at the story mode, and Johnny Cage was fiending for that sword. I don't know why, but he was. Johnny, all of a sudden, after the credits, was like, you know what? I want that, I want that sword back, Kenji. I paid for it. I should have it. Could you imagine Johnny Cage with the ancestral powers? Of the entire Cage family. You see, the thing is, I I'm not too familiar with the lore of um, Kenshi, but the way Mortal Kombat 1 makes it seem is, is the, the dude needs the sword. So, uh, you know, theoretically, was... if, you, if you take away the sword, then I hate to say it, but Kenshi is just, was... just a blind man. Was the movie Snowblind on HBO Max from Mortal Kombat uh, like Kenshi's origin story? And does it explain that? I didn't watch Snowblind. I gotta check I it out. I haven't either. I haven't either. The only two I haven't watched was Snowblind and the Johnny Cage one. Yeah, but you also gotta remember, I, I, about. I, I feel like the, the iterations of Kenshi and Snowblind and Mortal Kombat 1 might be different because oh, yeah, for sure. I don't but think Snowblind a... takes place after the new era. True, but weren't you asking for just a basic basic explanation of how he, he got his like sword ancestral... Oh, no, no, I, I, got... I was, but in the, in the MK1. Mm, gotcha. Because remember, there's literally a scene where I think he's fighting uh, Ermac. Yeah, Ermac. And I think he drops the sword and he's like... He just gets it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he couldn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, just... And I think the sword, like, just pulled up he and just... started helping him. No offense, but it was it was straight out of a Marvel show, baby. He just... <laughs> he just They just gave him his powers. They're just, here, here you go. When you when you need it most mid-fight, it just, it just happens with, with no explanation other than... It, the, the sword's got Whoa. powers, and this is the powers that it gave him. This is the power of the Kenshi line, the ancestral plane that it exists on, in, in, in and of itself. I, I hope they don't nerf this character, man. I think the pressure he puts you in is some of the hypest things uh, to watch. It's so sick. He just starts chopping you, the sound effects, everything just made up with the Sento pressure is beautiful to me. It sucks to be put in, in the in the Sento blender, but it's great to watch. That might just be a me thing, though. The patience. Nah. These polarizing characters, you know, at a really high level, you have to realize, you know, what their limitations are when you're not in that kind of situation when Sento's on the screen and how limited the character is without it. And so, you know, those, those polarizations defensively can exist too, where when he doesn't have Sento, it can be overwhelming, especially with a character like Johnny, where it's always his turn and there's no Sento to work with. And look at, look at poor, look at wow. poor Kenshi. Kenshi just got the works big time, man. That was some beautiful pressure there from Get Right Yo. Gonna play that neutral game here. Hard to do against Kenshi, who's gonna have just bigger buttons. Abusing them too as he accuse it with the sweep. Nice micro duck on a stand one. Cut another one, dude. Give me one of the big of Kenshi strings. That one four one, four two two. Yeah, he the tension is play. real right now, man. These guys are playing extremely patient here. Oh, he tried to go for the shadow kick, but it got shut down by that uh that Sento. And that backdash of Kenshi putting in some work. Both both these characters have some, some insane dash speeds. I don't know how big of a difference it is in characters' dash speeds, but I feel like these two can schmoove just a little bit quicker than the others. And later, Sento. Oh, no, 100%. The back with the I, toss. I think huge... Johnny has slightly a better movement, but they are pretty much on the same level, man. Oh, Look at this. He's crab. using the throw to get the Sento. Okay, he's going to put the blade away. Wants to get some access to some zoning tools here. 
Good shot. Good shot. Right back into Sento. Is he still going to convert? Sure yeah, is. Yeah, he is. Into That's... some big boy damage. 40% into Sento sandwich. GG's. I think I knew about that. The 2 2 was going to be so active. No, not even the 2 2, just the 2 out of Sento. The double hitting swipe, swipe of death. He said, That's for putting me on the mantle, you son of a. Thank you so much for the giant raid, Nether Realm. Oh Destroyer. my god. Nether Realm Studios coming in hot with the fat raid. You love to see. 345. Thank you guys so much here to the Coliseum. This is an eight week Mortal Kombat series. This is week number four. We are in a top eight. The winner of this tournament will make the finale. We're currently five hundred plus dollars is on Beautiful the line. Stuff. So that is. I, that is I love how Nether Realm just kept the uh, the so tournament see. train going, right? Choo -choo. Listen, if you guys want more Mortal Kombat one action, here you go. Bang, Coliseum. Three was last right. You've seen one. You've seen them all. Okay, you guys, you guys are coming right back into it. So Johnny far. Cage, Kenji. Four, for everyone tuning in so far, a 14-year-old Mortal Kombat prodigy of a former EVO finalist has already won a match and is in winner's semifinals. So strapped in, there is incredible storylines, a bunch of new players in this top eight tonight, and we're gonna see some madness. Look at that beautiful parry timing from Get Right. You know, he put himself in the corner. The carry doesn't matter. Ready back to mid-screen, sets up the safe jump off the nut punch. Pressures back on, and good back catches from Yakuza. Man, it goes so far. It really does. Oh, he tried to go for that incredibly long-range jump three, but Yakuza smacked him out of the air. Kind of just staggering, looking for an opening, but Red Rock not giving it to him. There it is, the dreadful forward three. Got to connect. And, bro, the shadow kick into low hat safe plus frames. Get out of my face with that. Johnny Gage wants to get in your face with that. He's gonna, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's what you do. You, hey, you, you hey. use loud cameo. No, 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 hey, no, 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 no. Hey, hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Absolutely. Why play when you can have Kung Lao Loha? <laughs> oh, and why even block Lao Hat when you can put up the sub armor? But Get Rex staggered that so well. Debate it. Once you see the armor, you know you know that you can't do the Lao Hat. You really got to change up the offense. Oh, this offense isn't stopping. Yakuza, you play the game. I gotta say, Yakuza. Timing those down ones pretty perfect there. He's actually got a fighting chance here, even though Get Wrecked needs about one <laughs> touch to close this out. That was an incredible whip punish. Oh my god. Yakuza Knight gonna cash out on some fat damage. Drops a combo, but gets it right back. Oh, oh he, no. He, he, I hate to say it, but he, he got pretty sloppy at the end there. He did. He dropped two opportunities to cash out on some massive damage. Had the fatal blow locked and loaded. That could have been a comeback. The Elder Gods gave him an extra one there, and he, and he still couldn't finish the plate. Seriously. But what a comeback this would have been, and the belief that you gotta have to just down one, backdash, back two, commit to Sub-Zero. There is no hit confirming. I think that's just raw belief. And if the conversion would have been there, that would have been, what, at least 35? Even that late in the conversion? I know the regular combo does, what, about 40? Close to? Off the Sento summon, man. You ever talk to Christina? Yeah, it's pretty incredible to me um, how much damage Kenshi's able to net off of Sento, man. You know, he gets that opening, and it's almost always a guaranteed 40%. Keeping it safe with the EX push. And then there at the end, what would made it so important is that you can knock down. Sento's still there, and you can break armor to take away Wake Up Shadow Kick. Uh, with that Ooh. punch being, being a difference maker, we'll see if we can get to a spot where that comes into play. I like that. But this, I is, like a game that that a lot. this is a game that Yakuza has hated playing, Destroyer, and that's been in the corner blocking Johnny. Nobody wants to play this. There we go. Nobody wants to play this. But push, I mean, hey, one, once, out. once he has Sento out, you kind of get the same feeling, too, when you have both of those uh, characters on top of you. Good blocks right now. I mean, Get Greg kind of just shredding that life bar away here. Mm. And the shadow kick. Reversal punish going to catch him slipping. This is a really big case of, you know, seeing Kenshi Sub-Zero versus other cameos that might be able to get Sento out on block. Like, here he just hasn't got the hits into Sub-Zero. He hasn't gotten Sento on the screen but the one time, and he had to fully commit to really get the hit. Other than that, Get Rex's defense has just been too good playing around those confirmable ranges of Kenshi. As long as you're out of the forward two range, Kenshi's not really much of a threat without Sento whatsoever, dude. Oh, well, he's not. You did it, Max! Oh! And just following apart a couple of right jumps and get wrecked. 
losing 30 HP in that one to take the lead two to one. That was actually beautiful. I mean, this is a true back and forth here. Get Rec versus Yakuza Knight. These players are giving it their all. I mean, hey, given the circumstances of this tournament, the qualifications to get into the finale, you have to win this tournament here. So it is no joke. Mr. And Aquaman, who, who's in the uh, finale so far? Because you told me this is what, week four? This is, so we've got Shuleta, who won week number one. Okay, okay. The, the Mighty Unjust, who won week two. Oh my God. And Bandinos, who won week number three with the rain. Damn, that is three super strong players right there already. And now with this incredibly stacked top eight here, we're gonna get one more from this insane roster of players. Man, your finale stacking up to be something very juicy, Mr. Aquaman. Thank you, Destroyer. Now, as we alluded to earlier, no, five hundred dollars. Do hey, I'm sorry. I'm trying to think of the rest of the sentence that I was segueing into, which was going to be that five hundred dollars is on the line in that epic finale. And if you guys would like to donate to it, the links are at the top of both live chats. They're in the description. If you're watching in the future, and if you're watching from the future, I hope that everything's all right in the future. I hope everything's uh, still here. I hope that the moon is still orbiting our planet and controlling the water and shit, whatever it does. So you're basically saying that we got to go invade uh, Ivanu in Helldivers. Guys, I'm going to level with, with you. Everyone watching live on YouTube, everyone watching live on Twitch, everyone watching in the future on YouTube, we are dying to go dive in, in, in Helldivers right now. The whole team, me, Destroyer, Rick in the back, we're dying. Healthy, Helldivers 2. We'll just, <laughs> just, we, we want the servers to work. I tried to play all day yesterday. We're just trying to dive, Destroyer. We're trying to spread democracy as wide and often as we can. Look at this pressure here. Look at this pressure here. Look at this pressure here. Right blocking for his life. Oh my god. Oh, he got, he's going to get opened up. Go straight for the... Oh my god. My Sento just shutting it down immediately. Not even worrying about that fatal blow parry from Johnny Cage. Sento said... Oh. I mean, while Sento was out with seven seconds left, I think you're out of options, but to swing for the fences. Hey, that's what he did. He let the fatal blow rip, and he wished for the best. Good jumping. That's going to be a juicy little, what, 26%? He goes for another safe jumping. How do you feel about that safe jumping from Johnny Cage? I don't like it every time someone does it to me. I'm just being <laughs> honest. <laughs> It's I tough don't. to deal with because he, he's plus even if it whiffs. Yeah, and then Damn. it's like every touch and then you're just eating a safe jump. But it exists and, you know, there are ways around it to avoid a little bit of the pressure and things like that. Game time for Johnny. But that's the mind game is he can double shadow kick right there into a nut punch. You can't do more than two specials of the same in a row, but he can cancel into another special there to make that a mind game and just called out beautifully by Yakuza, who, as you've talked to, we talked about, has actually swung beautifully sometimes defensively and here does get wrecked with the invincibility of that punch. Wow! What is happening? Wait, what does he do? He gets oh. shut down by the Stentone. That's going to be GG's. Give us a brutal. No Give way. Brutal. No brutal? So he just had to have known right there that the Sento 2 was unparryable and was going to shatter that irregardless. Or sorry, regardless of the situation. I think irregardless is not an actual word. So, so you telling me the move was uncrustable? I think it was. As, as uncrustable as as they come wow here we go mr aquaman what did you drag me into another game five my god we are in for a long night ladies and gentlemen i didn't mean to i, I wanted like, a short night i, I, I like want a hell dive players, i wanted the like, hell dive man <laughs> <laughs> i feel like these players are about to go crazy tonight and let me tell you man you, you look left you look right you see all these incredible community tournaments ran by some great uh people you're so combat looking I'll real juicy right now mr aquaman especially with peacemaker coming down the road i hope this patch i hope this patch is a good one because i want to see this game thrive i want to continue to support mortal kombat one destroyer you know we both know that look, what is here this core gameplay like it's it's great it's with juicy some, with some tweaks we're just missing some more stuff in the actual game uh but for those of us still sitting here and enjoying the game we're loving it. Thank you guys for being being here, enjoying the game, enjoying some Coliseum. There we go. Final game, two to two. Another round one winners match here. Sento's out, trying to play, swinging. 
for his life as it goes away. Great by Get Rex, just wait it out sometimes. Guys, the best way to deal with it is to stay away from it. Don't even play his game. Don't fall, don't get into the sandwich. Now he's got his own. You that, in the that, corner. Dude. And that Lao hat. Exactly <laughs> what you just said is how I feel about both these characters. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is, this is rough because that's going the other way and just throws back into the corner. That took some wow. Pelotas Massivas. Destroyer. Another snatch up and another one on throw. Yeah, he's got some Pelotas Grandissimo. Ooh. Here we go. He's going to get the Ice Armor activated, but a beautiful call out from Get Wreck. Oh, and he jumps right into the low hat. That's going to be a GG's Get Wrecked on match point here with the Johnny Lau. We've all been there just slightly misspacing the jump arc to go over the hat. Keep himself safe there. Cover a couple of options. Finishing the string, which I think is like a plus, a plus frame there or two. I'm using the massive range. I said Kenji kind of outranges Johnny in normals, especially the spear stance. Safety on the EX pushback and then in the string. Look at the pushback on that too. That pushback wow. was very crispy. He's going with a lot of staggers and down ones here. Smacks him with the sword out of nowhere. Get wrecked. Has to keep it patient. Oh my god, the down poke. Sta these staggers right now are doing justice for Yakuza Knight. Oh, the swing of forward two into a slightly quicker button from Johnny. And now he's going to eat some corner setups. Oh, that was a nice stagger. Try to get him with a 4 4 string. Set the plus frames behind it, too. Doesn't read the overhead. Ender gets up. The armor at least, but loses it immediately. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Yakuza needs to do something. And just as he tries to, he gets clipped by the low hat. That should just about do it here. The meaty low hat again from the Kung Lao. And that's going to do it. 3 2 for Get Wrecked over Yakuza Knight. What an incredible match right there. Another game five in the books for Coliseum Week Four. Back to back, two for two, game fives. Everyone coming from the Netherrealm channel here for game number two. Missed a classic to get us started. It's it's only just begun. So on Twitter, I don't know where I saw it, but somebody was talking about it's Quan Chi and Jack's time. Who is oh, playing Quan Chi and Jack okay. in, in this bracket? I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know if I want to finish that story. <laughs> oh, wait, is that like a troll? <laughs> no. Is that a troll? <laughs> did, did I just set myself up? I don't uh, know, man. That's so Quan Chi Jax. I was excited. You just set them up, and I'm sorry, but... Uh, <laughs> they went I don't know like, what... They went I like 0-7 like today. Oh, man. That's it unfortunate. Rough. It was rough for the Quan Jax. That is, that is very unfortunate, man. I had high hopes for that. But, I mean, nonetheless, we still have an incredible bracket underway here. And it looks like we're going to be getting oh, into the is... next match, which is going to be a crazy one. Ludi versus Sunio this again. A classic. A classic. Yeah. You, you know, I, I don't know if Sunio still reps BFGC, but I'm pretty sure they were both in BFGC. That's, that's oh, the yeah. Buffalo team, right? Yeah, they are. He's, uh, yeah, you know, it's he's me, getting... Mr. Buffalo. That's, how do you know how Sunio talks? Dude, Sunio is a walking Neanderthal. <laughs> oh. What? He's a walking Neanderthal. I don't think you said it right the first time. I said it right the first time. <laughs> Maybe you did. I said it right the first <laughs> I don't, time. I don't, I don't know if he did or not. It sounded like you, one of the you definitely of, did not say it, it right like the one first one time. <laughs> no, no, I said it right the first time, guys. But we all got it. We uh, it's it like the get the wax the out of your ears. <laughs> hey, go AMK then, Mr. Aquaman. Come on, get now. the wax out of your oh, ears. I said it right the first time. I was dying. Hey, security! I said it right the first time. No, wait a minute. No, you don't have to escort me out. <laughs> get him out of here! Get the fuck off of me! I said it right the first time. Bye, destroyer. Thanks for stopping by. Man. I'm dead. You have to recall me in like in Helldivers, baby. The Fire Temple. Oh, okay, guys, match number three. Where are we? When are we? As Empress. Ludi. Sunio. Sindel. Lu. Sunio. One of the most degenerate players that exists. Expect tea bags. Expect madness into the striker. And Ludi break out the chameleon. Every day I'm seeing something new. Oh, yeah. Um, Involving this character, some kind of new conversion, some kind of new thing in the rotation. 
one, one thing I respect about Ludi is the commitment. You know, he picked up Sindel in the very start of Mortal Kombat 1, and he did not let go of this character yet. Hey, Destroyer. Someone said that they heard Neo Anderson. <laughs> Mr. Neo Anderson. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so hey, he goes a walking Neo Anderson. He's a walking Cheers Neo Anderson. Anderson. He's a walking Neo Anderson. He's a walking Neo Anderson. He's a walking Neo Anderson. He's a Neo Anderson. Oh, he locked him up. Good patience. Oh my God, what a jump in into the stream conversion. Wait a second. He just let Sunio escape though. I feel like he could have gotten a lot more mileage off of that situation. Good breaker from Sunio. Doing what he does best, zoning. I mean, seriously, Aquaman, you of all people know the history Sunio has behind zoning. And the fact that it's traveled <laughs> through all these eras into every, Mortal Kombat 1. Every game is crazy. That's the beauty of Sunio, though. Yeah. And I'm, I'm giving him so much respect and credit for this, is that he will find his way to do his thing no matter what you give him. Holy crap, he come off that. A little extra damage for 138. And that, I think, was mixed town. Molina's overhead. Single-handedly taking both rounds from Sunio. One hit from the breaker, too. GG's. One of Ludi. And for Ludi, the more I see him play, the more games I see him, I, I see him play in. Kind of likewise. Loves him some some uh, some jump cancel mix-ups. Yo, look Doesn't at this guy! Hey, Yo! <laughs> nah, Ludi definitely trolling with, with his uh, teammate here. You, you, you gotta. Oh, 100 percent. I'm sure these guys are having so much fun. And then, have you seen? I, I what, can only imagine the friendly Sunio banter does? after. What does Sunio do? He will, he, he will bag mid set behind a striker assist. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, he does that regardless against non-teammates the last time we oh, yeah. had this dude in in uh, cotr i think he was literally throwing out tea bags no one safe no one is safe good stuff though ludi taking game number one let's see if sunio is going to be able to uh be able to adapt to this Tindel chameleon team up i hope they make peacemaker ridiculously broken i want the character to just choke you out with a with a freaking leg lock i want him to lock you in between his thighs and just put you out cold i want him to be able to summon eagly like uh puggles and quan chi in mortal kombat X. that'll be so cheap Ooh, oh wait a I think second that, i think that if you call strike a little bit later that's a conversion i don't know possibly you know, that was whoa. a really nice sequence from Ludi there. This dude escaped the corner. How did Sudio get through all that zoning and moving from Ludi though? I to have still have no this idea. Lead. That was gorgeous. To, to get over and under what he did. You chose mm. Round two. Oh, use the EX uh, projectile to go through his. That was so smart. Ludi right now gonna catch him with a screen conversion here. This is gonna be a lot of damage into possibly chameleon set play. Oh yeah, he, he has the overhead. Petrified, and he's like, you know, you are afraid of my overhead. Here's a throw for you. We got Jade active. Two that strikers available. Here it comes. <gasps> but screen was too big enough to hit the striker. Not many things can stop that man from throwing the nades. But Ludi says that the Scream Queen has the range. And speaking of range, the splits. He Ooh. tried, I think he tried to use the uh, Katana safety net, but it switched right to Melina just as he went for that spring. That, oh, he, no, he, 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 he is dead. Look at that health bar. It's no, gone. I know. Oh, no. Bro, oh, what is no. that? A 95% combo? What the fuck <laughs> out of here? Ridiculous. This man hit him with a 95% combo. I've never seen anything like it before. He, he <laughs> lived. That wasn't. I don't think that was armor. That was like wake up pro straight projectile oh. EX. Oh, yeah. This is soon, yo. Throwing out the fatality first game and the striker walk away. This guy, what do you think? He's Robocop? He said, hey, I got a package for you. I got a protective vest. <laughs> this will. And then look at, look at Luke Kang. This man is, this man's giving him a prayer after that. This will keep you, he said, this, this is what Earthrealm is about.
<laughs> this is Earthrealm's finest. This this is Earthrealm's finest. You have learned on this day. Man, really good stuff from Sunio. Gonna be bouncing back, taking a game, tying things up one to one against Ludi. The T. Good We're matches all right around. I'm telling you right now, if this goes to another dreams, game five, despite what he believes, I I'm excited. One one rock to a good start. Five. Someone chested that Sunio's gonna main Peacemaker. If he's a zoner, absolutely. I mean, that's what everybody's thinking. And what if Netherrealm just does the opposite and makes him pure offense? I think that if anyone's going to be the zoner, it's going to be Homelander. Oh, yeah. But that's just me making a read. You all can feel free to speculate as wildly as we do. Wow, Ludi just waking up with I have no idea because Studio's opening him up with everything. And I, I rarely see other lose. Use that in the gap to break armor if they're mashing armor reversal. So smart by Studio, but that might not matter at all. I don't think this is death. Never mind. I think it is. Did, did, oh, wait, why didn't that combo? Wait, what happened? Did he try to go for a mix up? Not like this. Or not that? like this. And oh, Studio. If <laughs> Studio would have thrown out the fireballs a little bit sooner, he probably would have had the elevation to avoid that fireball. Good stuff from the dragon kick. One execution. They're even full screen in the zoning battle. I'll have to take some time. Wait it out and... Sunio gets hit by the last side. Bro, this Lina is a toss. zone this war right crazy. now. This is a zone war. What a commitment from Ludi. This dude just threw everything out the window there. That's going to be a really big opportunity for Sunio to take a round here. Gotta just backing off. Oh, that was a good call out with the air fireballs. Those are the mind games that he loved full screen. Knew exactly the jump arc and everything gets hit by the tip of the hair. And here we go. The queen drops it. Loses an opportunity to mix there. You chose. That could have been for the win easily. Sunio. Fight. Gotta keep in mind that he could lose about 40% before that breaker can come down in the bottom right. No. Seen a lot to play with here. Ooh, never mind. That down three range of Sindel controlling the, it right now. That's going to be a good throw. It's, it's kind of, I'm not going to lie, it's really awesome how they gave three different throw animations for Chameleon. I mean, right there, gets the restand, goes for a hard to blockable with the Melina. That was some beautiful stuff there from Ludi. Good blocks on the low fireballs, gets a flawless block. And you're. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going over Sindel there. As Chameleon and Down the poke in the poke Melina. No. Yeah, it is. Not dead yet, though. Was about as active in media as you could be there with the float jump one. I think that was going to be an active mid noble profiling impossible. That was kind of gross. That was. Looks like we're going to be jumping into a. 2-1 situation here. Ludi right now has the upper hand against Sunio. Let's see if Sunio is going to be able to bounce back and dish out the pain he's looking to dish out. I will say, though, that every time I've done poke Molina ball roll, it's worked. It's never not worked. Really? So far. Oh, yeah. I mean, bro, Molina's overhead. What did, what did they say? They say it's like 17 frames or something like that? Or is it? Is it nah. It's like 13 frames or something? So all I know like is that overhead feels like it's six worst. frames because the it, second it, it, it pops up, Two hits. the thing is lightning speed. Oh, look, my favorite stage. It's the it's the Mortal Kombat Christmas tree. Where's Grinch? I need my him. favorite stage. I need him to start on the tree. Did the I was looking halfway at the at the match, but did the glow avoid block up or did he crouch it? Pretty cool. Snarl and so, so is that. And the recovered behind Sindel. Still getting covered by the striker assist. Going over the zoning so well with Sunio right now. Other ends of the jump kick, but he gets a throw. While Ludi was still frightful. Probably racking what happened. Ooh. Great, great punish. 
think someone's gonna do something unsafe with the striker on block and he got some frames to punish. Got to win the best option. Oh, we still have the Chroma Kion. Oh, oh, because of the whole stage. Gotcha. Smart man. Sorry, guys. We are trying to, you know, make a couple of more dollars off this broadcast. So we appreciate your <laughs> patience on the, on the filter. Everyone I gets understand, it. understand, man. Mortal yeah, Kombat and YouTube is a really bad combination. I actually like the colors on this filter, too. I mean, we might as well just leave the whole game like this. Everyone's, uh... Every everyone's a chitin. Everyone's Good pressure here. Everyone's pleading that Devora blood. Ooh, gonna catch a block on the overhead. The grab tech. Luckily that punch, I thought he hit him a little too high there. But no, still caught 329. And try to old school mix up with no punish. Jumping overhead will catch the faintest of hearts. Has no combo ability off the back row, as most dudes like to pick. Oh, he and almost got the jump in katana combo there, but um, the, the defense from Sunio, he's not letting anything open him up here. These guys are trading back and forth. Striker he's keeping it safe, one of the throw. More air fireballs. One of the oh times my that God. You, that you don't want Striker to hit, unfortunately. Booty following. All of his projectiles in right now. Still has another katana if he wants to. He got the throw. Still alive. 25 seconds on the clock here. No. Wow. <laughs> See how much recovery she was in? A lot of recovery. I think we're making our way to another game five situation. I kid you not. Don't jinx it. Destroyer. I'm not jinxing. Uh -oh. There it is. He's gonna. He's gonna, that's it. You're right. King, You're right. You're the right. Luke King shenanigans it's over. has begun. It's over. The Luke King shenanigans. Why, has why, begun. why was he pressing buttons? What do you mean? No, he's falling apart. Why are you, you pressing buttons right now? Is that the phone for? Oh, he's 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 getting destroyed right now. He hasn't blocked a single wow. thing. He took it to the face. Is that the tech? All right, only a true master. Only a true if master, he, and there he, it he, is. Sunio tying it up two to two. We got ourselves hey, hey. another game five. You know, it's a really bold play to. I, I'm guessing, you know, he, he tried to disrespect multiple times in a row. Yeah. High risk, high reward. He really did. He most definitely really and, tried to disrespect and sometimes, him. And sometimes you just, you know, that's the risk that you take. Man, those projectiles look really cool with that filter on. Yeah, you know what? We might as well just leave the, the filter on for the whole tournament. My past yeah. iteration sounds like a screeching hobby. Many Man, this is way too design. close. Aqua. This story, I can't believe it, guys. We're going to another game. Five, the third one in a row. We're going to have 20 of them at this rate. Another game five here, baby. Let's get it popping. I wouldn't want it any other way. I want every single match tonight to be game five, even the ones that losers to be game five. Even every after this, game. I want next week, week five, to be game five. After what, that, reset game five? I want whoa, the, the whoa, week wait, after whoa, that whoa, to be whoa, game wait, five. Wait, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 Don't you put that evil on us. I want you guys to have game five for the rest of your lives. And you know what? I want old Raiden's gold Kenji. No, let's stop. <laughs> <laughs> I want some viewers, man. <laughs> Okay, very nice, very nice. He's gonna get the throw. We've had a decently clean night of combat, okay? There, there hasn't been a lot of down ones to himself, okay? 100%, he's gonna get the throw restand from the Melina. Oh, mixes him up with that low projectile. Smart stuff from Ludi. Oh, caught him with punish with the Jade. That'll get him off the bar. Expensive. What? In a battle where so many specials can be thrown, uh, the meter built in St. that already three quarters of a bar built. For Sunio on a couple of projectiles. Thrown in the corner. Gonna block it out and Ludi now. Gonna be the one. Put him in a really scary spot there. Really good tech by Sunio. Got him all this real estate back. Trying to cover some shenanigans with Striker, as you do. Sometimes the streets we call it ass play, and whoa, Ludi says, I'm gonna cover everything now. Ass play? No jumping. Nine seconds left. Yeah, ass play. That's where you can just do anything you want, YOLO, and then into a cameo to cover you. Three seconds left, not much Ludi can do here, but watch his life force fade away. He got the hit, but it wasn't enough. And Sunio, 
Match point. Oh man, I can already see the friendly banter between these two if Sunio takes his loot. He is gonna be fighting not only to uh, not hear it from Sunio for the rest of the week, but to take this W in advance in the winner's bracket. Good pressure right now. Oh, he actually did a little side switch action there. I wonder if that's still plus on the other side. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good question. Oh, Ludi is, every time that he's had that katana is almost on command. Gone for the float in and tries to shoot in and get of his own going for the splits. Tries to spread democracy, but this is not Helldiver 2 in Sunio. The pressure might be a little too much right now with the forward force. He Ludi went for gets, the limit. Yeah, he went for hey, the limit. He snippets. One back throw into the corner can change lives in fighting games. And Sunio gave him too much respect. We no. didn't scream. He didn't scream. Confirm. No, get he some mercy with Melina. And he's still going to die That's for this. It. He has to fatal. So smart. And we are going to a final round. Sunio pop playing with his food. I think a little too much right there. I cannot believe that just worked out. This is going to be going to a final game, final round situation right now. Ludi stays alive with a crazy fatal blow conversion. 458 damage for that. My God. A near 50% bombo from Ludi. We try to use the striker plus frames to keep some pressure going, but Ludi called him out on it. Here comes the zoning. Oh. Yo, that hitbox on that on that projectile was kind of wild. Oh my goodness! It, it, I think that she did a snap of the finger and Chameleon came back by the time she like came recovered from snapping the fingers. That was insane recovery. And he has been all over it. When he sees Katana, he's looking for those floats. And now that Melina's is there, afraid of the mix. He's like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna deal with it. That throw, enough time to go to Jade. And he's been playing around that chameleon so well. You have to defensively. So we're going to deal with it no matter the character. And not your turn. This will be a studio in the game five. That's Turns it around. From the game one will give us... <laughs> will give us the Shaolin shimmy. This is actually a super cool fatality right here. Oh, man. Oh, no, Cinder. Ah! You ever get flushed... Down a double dragon toilet? Just now. I think we all we all have. Just we now. Just, it happened to me just, just right now. We just saw it in 4K. Sorry, 1080. 1080. I mean, holy cow. Were the previous weeks this intense, Mr. Aquaman? I mean, three of no, the matches no, we've had so near, far. Like this game kind of start. five? Not even close to this kind of start. I think at max, we've had just a couple of game fives per top eight. They won it today. Also, losers round one, feel free to play your match off stream. Grinch and Yakuza, I think that they already play. I just want to let you guys know. Um, SJB and Blackfellow, are you guys here in, in the chats or in the Discord by chance? We haven't been able to get a hold of you. All right, now things are getting very interesting because we were talking about um, SJB before the stream booted up, you know, and this is a name I'm definitely not familiar with. I did see in your chat earlier that SJB is a youngin, just like online Kale. So we're going to see some crazy stuff, man. These these freaking 14, 13 year olds with the ultimate light speed reactions are going crazy. I mean, you look back at the FGC history and a lot of the top competitors were the youngins. Those motherfuckers. And yeah, someone said that SJB was really young too, but we didn't get an actual age, but I'm imagining, you know, if, you know, what, what, we, what we thought was young isn't young anymore, apparently, because now kids are, you know, 13, 14, 15 years old, you know, Mortal Kombat prodigies. A SJB, another 14 year old, VL, Prodigy, oh my goodness, yeah. You see, that. man, yeah. my God. Two 14 year olds in this top eight? I'm done, pretty I'm crazy, retired. man, it's pretty crazy. And I feel yeah. like, you know, we, we always talk about this well, as 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 veterans of the FGC, you know, you, you be in the, you're in the scene for so many years and you just, you keep on saying, oh man, next game, there's gonna be some young Prodigy to stop by. And it always happens, right? It always happens, so. Hopefully that continues and, and say, the scene continues to grow with, with crazy competitive players. And, and with that, I do want to say that I do apologize for all the cursing to the two children in this in this top eight. Guys, don't curse. Okay? You know, don't curse. Love that you're playing Mortal Kombat, though. Keep it up. Past school. I just want to get that out there. Keep it up, guys.
Man, I want to say so much stuff right now. <laughs> Man, I want to curse so much right now. I'm itching to curse. Be, be a little bit of a, a little bit of a decent, decent role model out here. They are playing Mortal Kombat though. This is a rated M game. They had to have gotten some kind of uh, approval to be here, right? 100%. Oh, we got a Reptile prodigies. Blackfellow rocking the Reptile. Now we talking. SJB with the Johnny Cage, but he's playing the, the, the team that Gambler likes to play. Okay. Cage Goro? Which one? Johnny Cage and Goro. Bro, Johnny Cage and Goro, when you put this team on paper, it is terrifying. You have to literally respect his down one at any given moment. Oh, <laughs> that 50-50. I'm afraid. Just toss it. That 50-50 was super clean. I want to see some more back two from Reptile. There we go. Catch the whip punishes. Wait, he's he's just insane. Yeah, he's going crazy right now. Good throw. Going to get some striker damage going on. Sets up the uh, force ball. Oh, no. Overcommitted to that, that setup there. That's going to be a 1-1 one, one punish here from SJB. Can definitely turn this around. Johnny Cage and the corner is a match made in heaven. This is all that the Rockstar needs, but no. The moment he could breathe. Round two. Fellow just armed his way out of the corner with a death roll. Absolute madness so far. He's been whipping strings into just dashing his face, throwing a lot of the back two cancels. I like it. He's playing at a really fast uh, speed, and SJB just hasn't got up to him yet. He really is. Oh my god, beautiful punish on the forward three. He's gonna end it with a nut punch. Does a fake jump in. Good block. Goes for the down two, avoiding the striker setup. And there it is, a shadow kick with the height meter buildup. SJB going into this final round is going to be looking very clean. Yo, if he gets one of those massive height meter combos, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my marbles. I'm going to lose my marbles. That's a lot of marbles. Had a great day. Did SJB went eight and three. Hit the deck. Well, oh, eight and three, that's pretty fat. Blackfellow, seven and one, only one loss, and only missed top eight last week because he didn't know that you had to play at least eight matches. To make top eight, Waiting and me? we'll get the kill. No brutality on death roll, but a 1 0 lead for this man, who, again, as I was just saying, could have and should have been in top eight last week, just didn't know that he had to play one more match. Uh, I think that he went like six and one last week, went seven and one today. The only loss was to Ludi. Every other win, 3-0 or 3-1. Uh, had a 3-0 victory over online Kale. Wow. With with this reptile. I mean, the system you got going to qualify into this top eight is awesome, man. It just gives the players a, a lot of practice, you know? They get, they get a lot of matches in. Unlike, you know, your traditional bracket where you get to play like maybe one, two, or three opponents, depending on how your path goes. It's really good stuff. I feel like all these players came into this top eight heated. I mean, very warmed up. I mean, we're seeing it here. Game fives all across the board so far. And I kind of feel like this is going to be no different. A battle of eras, too. Blackfellow, 32. SJB, 15. Over twice his age are these two opponents right now crazy to think about but that is that is mortal kombat guys it goes across multiple eons legacies worldwide it brings us all together you'll love to see it good down poke the breaker He's gonna get him all off all of that meter. Beautiful stuff. Black fellow goes for the reptile commitment again. He needs to be careful with that stuff. But he's just about to take this round, and there it is, the throw. Into the side switch. You'll love to see it. Bro, reptile's design in this game is so freaking good. He's he, he's built to be annoying. And boy does striker compliment that tenfold. So you're saying he's a piece of what? shit. What what lets him dash for free? Absolutely. What 
And then, wait, why did, why did we hear that in the background? <laughs> what, what was listening in? <laughs> my, si my Siri thought I was talking to... My phone thought I was talking... Oh, my Crazy. She was like, don't you downplay. Well, I felt there it is. Two she... oh with the reptile? Okay. This guy is really popping off right now with reptile. Reptile striker at that. I think it's safe to say striker with any character in this game might be top tier. No? Hmm. Just think about it. Just think, think about it. Think about it first. Think, like, what does striker offer Baraka? To do anything he wants and make it safe, right? With the nades. Literally, yeah. you wake up, nades. And you can kind of do that with every character in Armor this game nades. to an extent. Mm -hmm. You don't Dude, take a shit on the floor, nades. Overhead low, nades. Can I just call you Whatever Reptile? you want, striker, nades. Jump in, nades. Jump in, nades. A super viable option. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Anti air? Sight? Dash, dash, nades. nades. Woo! You called it. Nate a little too early there. Leave it low though. Wow. Oh. What a whip on this. He just backdashed and caught him slipping. This is going to be some really good damage for Blackfellow. Going to get the invisibility activated. Another nasty setup into the overhead. SJP just getting opened up in every direction here from Blackfellow. He can do no wrong right now. Mix is working. Oh no, down one. Dash, and it's still his turn off of the striker. Team, never your turn right now. And, and that, that's what you want as a reptile player. To be able to overwhelm your opponent. And man, that low. Giving him some amazing footsies just like that. Off the back dash cancel can catch so many buttons. So many people pressing. Wayne line about that. Good nut punch. Goes for a clean jump in. These guys are just getting into a little down poke war here. Nades. Yeah, there, oh. there's literally no point. No point in even trying to flawless block that uh, lizard dash. Because the nades are just going to make it safe regardless. I think that was meaty dash. And Blackfella Whoa. will take that 3-0. Our game fives have ended. The streak is over. Yeah, Blackfella breaking the curse, man. This dude went crazy with the Reptile, man. All right. And when do you really get to see Reptile Striker? I feel like that's not a team that you, you usually see with Reptile. You know, so far we got Honeybee running the uh, the forefront of Reptile gameplay using um, Scorpion. And now I think he's using a now Chameleon. chameleon. Yeah. But you got Blackfellow here showing us that the Striker is also an incredible pick for Reptile. GG's. That was round one of winners, guys. The winner of this bracket will make the Coliseum season six finale. We're currently over $500 is on the line. Thanks to our viewers that have contributed to the prize pool so far. We raise a prize pool throughout the entire season. Currently at 500 bucks. Thank you to everyone that has donated. Links are in the chat. And we are going to move right along to the winner semifinals. And we're getting the young prodigy. Back on here. I mean, same thing with Get Wrecked. I remember at a time where Get Wrecked was like 16 years old playing Injustice 2. I know. I mean, the dude is still super young, right? <laughs> but time, time is flying, man. These players are getting older. They're getting uh, wiser. And like I said, I, I want to see what this game is going to be looking like in the next two years. I want to see what these players are going to be doing. And just what ends up happening with Mortal Kombat 1 in general. So, oh patch. man, so the next match is in Rank versus Online Kale? Yeah. Yikes. Uh, a huge patch coming in just a couple weeks? Okay, now, how do you know it's a huge patch? I'm praying to every god that I know of. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think they announced that it's. Uh, any you're right. Is happening. No, you're 100% you're right. I'm actually problem. just, you know, very skeptical right now. <laughs> you want the huge patch, but what they're going to give yeah, you is. They're going to give you Peacemaker and the, 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 his thighs. Get... I mean, as long as the thighs are there. All right. 
That's the most, that's the most underrated uh, cut of the chicken, if I'm saying. Wait, wait. <laughs> what are we talking about? We we're talking about how online kill is just brutalizing Get Wrecked right now with this Baraka. And very interesting choice here from Get Wrecked. Decides to go with the Liu Kang instead of his tried and true Johnny Cage. I guess he might like this matchup a little bit better. Mm. And like you were talking about, you're going to see the same exact thing applied with Baraka here, even there. Uh, just felt like both of them were in a neutral state and just armors from full screen in. And then behind it, whoop, whoop, send nades. Whoop, 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 whoop. Light him up. Whoop, whoop. That's what I'm talking Man, about. I be, right having, there. I be having PTSD nowadays <laughs> when I'm just chilling outside in public and I hear the police <laughs> sirens. I'm like, oh my god, striker mix. I got a block. I got a block. I got, yeah. <laughs> not my turn. Not my turn. He's like, bro, I gotta block this mix. Mm, and there it is, the low. Okay, online kale. Slicing and dicing. Do a help lead. He got away from the down one. That that might be back there. Oh, he dropped the combo, but there it is. No, wait, <laughs> don't drop what? it. Hello? Whoop, whoop. It's just, it's just maddening that he got away with it. <laughs> That many times. And Bro, he, he, he had striker, so why not? He almost choked that like three times. What was going on there? Online kill. Dang composed even after all those uh, crazy moments there. Gonna be taking it one game to zero here on Get Wrecked. I wonder if Get Wrecked is even thinking about making the switch to Johnny. Because if you're going to start off the match with, with Liu Kang, that's got to be a confident pick. There's mm -hmm. got to be something he doesn't like about Johnny um, Baraka. Do it, please, please. Yeah, no, oh. oh, wait, I didn't go AFK. No! It's okay. Show, show him what you were showing me earlier. All right, let's do it, guys. Everyone right, everybody, cool with it? We're going to be putting... Everyone cool with it? Everybody's cool with it. We're going to be putting uh, Aquaman in place of online kill. Sorry, Tony. Are the players cool? This is, how we, this is how it goes. I'm going to ice kill. Unintentionally, unintentionally. Oh, he's actually playing. Let's get this popping. Oh, my God. Come on. If I, I tell you what, if Aquaman wins this, it's going to be 2-0 two, two for Get Wrecked. Ooh. Oh, cheap. Oh, what did you drop the combo for, man? He dropped the count. I dropped. I dropped. I, I didn't believe. I didn't believe. You will be back next round week. two. I didn't believe. <laughs> this dude's trying to activate the stratagems in Mortal Kombat. Uh oh, I'm getting mixed. Ow! All right, guys, I remember, I can't win. Otherwise, it makes everyone look bad. All right, he's really good. Bring it. Mm. Kill. You got this, buddy. Johnny Cage wins. I do anything good on purpose just so that he wouldn't be warmed up. Ladies and gentlemen, I take a bow. I got body. GG's. He's good. Wait until they nerf this character. What, they, what do they say in uh, Coming to America? Boy's good. He's good. Barack, Johnny. Right, game Wait. number two. Wait until they nerf this character, then get the run back. I was a tribune in the Empress's army, Game number two. And I've played soldiers because I forgot to go AFK. Big whoop. We gave Get Wrecked a little bit of a warm up. But Kale did win the first match, so online Kale is up 1 0. No, that's not just happened. 
This man hit the parry, tried to get a, a punish off of the parry, and he ended up getting uh, screwed over by the striker. Unbelievable. A grenade to the back of the toad pack. You think he's gonna get super credits for that one? Nah. That's some rare samples. I was hoping to see some Mototo tonight. <laughs> oh That's my, my favorite God. cameo. That's my favorite cameo. The Mototo? Mototo? You better watch out with what you're saying, bro. Get wrecked might need that. Get wrecked might most definitely need Mototo. More, more Toto? That's right. Is that what? That's what I said. I don't know what you said. Good pick up here. He's going to get the side switch into the nut punch. The plus frames jump in special from Johnny Cage. We try to go for a grab, but the down one from Get Wrecked, yo. Yeah, when does this pressure end? Never. Up lock. Not enough frames there for the punish. This pressure yo. never ends. Wow, left him standing. Maybe he's up a turn there. Whoop, whoop. Get Wrecked took his down two damage, though. He believes. He's gonna go into the final round with a lot of resources from both players. Nearly six sticks of butter down there. Unbelievable. That would make at least two things of mac and cheese. Use a lot of butter. Chris, I'm hungry as hell. You better watch out talking about food right now, man. That's fantastic. Where's, the, where's that Chinese food that you ordered? Uh, I'm ordering it when we get to the. I want some of that General Shao's chicken. I want some of that General Shao's chicken. I got, I got you with General Shao's chicken. Good staggers right now. He's going to order him up with the low, but not committing to the full string. Get wrecked. Just going with that classic Johnny Lau pressure here. Okay, online KO actually has a chance. Oh my god, that was a really good Baraka Barrage going right through the Kung Lao hat. And with this team, you can be in multiple ways reactionary to people doing Kung Lao, even full screen with your armor followed by the striker. And when he has Fatal Blow, you saw him attempting it earlier. Wouldn't test this young man. That lead. Whoa, that was a lot of respect from both. It really was. You see, you see, get wrecked waiting for the counter post. So many times, and that looked super quick enough to time now. And lied. Not there. And it looked like online kill gave up right there at the end, if I'm being honest. He was like, you I know, can't believe man. that didn't punish. That looked like it was a towel throwing. I mean, so that recovery from low hat is extremely fast. So online kill had to be a bullet to catch that punish there with the fatal blow i've seen it happen before he's and you can be. he's done it before he's done it before but, you can be, but look this this was almost as quick as you can be that's insane so you know enough. after seeing it, after seeing that i'm i'm gonna go ahead and say it, i think it has to be <laughs> off of a hard read yeah that looked almost as reactionary as it could be you know we, we put ourselves in those shoes and be like could we have reacted to that 100 percent. i mean i always try I, I try to react to it with uh, omni man's fatal blow all the time and i always get screwed over for it buff omni man's wow. well, I didn't, I didn't. you said you want to buff omni man's thighs yeah we could do that yeah, i want that mod where he's like always crouch down <laughs> Bro, you gotta find a way to get that into your, <laughs> into your Coliseum. <laughs> when a cross place here? Uh oh. Oh my god. Do we know if they're gonna ban immediately? On, do they no, plan on putting PC in the cross play? I mean, I hope. Yeah, I'm, I, I hope. Does anyone know? We're gonna find out in a couple of weeks. Right? Cross play supposed to come the 28th? In a couple days? 10 days. Breaking out for Kale. So fatal blow range, which can kill even raw. Ooh, gonna be scared of whiffing anything. Wait a second. Solid. Wait a second. You see that he's, he's not getting opened up by the mix of rock as much as kills previous opponent below. Not as effective. Good flawless blocks. All the way to chips. Trying to take a nasty turn there, but it wasn't his. Playing that patient game here. The life bars are way too low for both players. He's going to put him in jail for a little bit. Tries to go for the throw and a shadow kick counter from Get Rex. Going to put himself up the round here. Ooh, tried to give 
a lot of us try to take a turn there with a down four to either go under the nade or maybe give yourself an hit advantage to avoid Baraka from getting a full combo, and he still ate a full combo there. Unfortunate. Through the... <laughs> everything. Can't even get hit by the striker nade. Man, I'm surprised he was able to recover in time to not get punished by Johnny Cage. These players are so calculated, Mr. Aqua. They they really do not want to put themselves in any bad positions. Good throw from online Kale. Gonna go for the 2-1 stagger. Fear. Absolute Dude. fear. I can't believe it took that long to go into a throw. Yeah, what is this respect from the players? Oh, and it's gone. But the timing that Kale has been doing on his striker has been uh, so early that it's kind of burned him more times than not. With on hit or block, giving up a turn. It's been very juicy, very oh. dull. There goes the there goes the meter. There's a striker. It had no armor to go through everything, but it was just so used to reacting to the Lao Hat summon with it. And that's gonna get burned. The health deficit gone with 13 seconds left. He's back up, he's getting locked up! The kill special! And it's shut down by a raw oh, shadow oh. kick. I fully believe in the comeback. Every time Kill locks someone up, Johnny Cage I believe. Wins. What's crazy is um, I think Get Wrecked is already a finalist in the Champs of the Realms. So if he makes it in the Coliseum, this dude is going to be cooking. He's going to have a lot of opportunities to make some good money. You know, He's Coliseum right now with a $500 prize pool. Is that for this tournament here or for no, this season? This season. Yeah, five hundred dollars right now in the season. Make sure you guys hit exclamation point Matcherino if you want to contribute to this prize pool. Get what? Oh no! Finish your thought real quick. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say, man, hit exclamation point Matcherino. Let's get this prize pool popping. Five hundred dollars in the line right now. Let's get this to a thousand, baby. Let's get this to ten thousand dollars. Show them that the community is strong in Mortal Kombat. What were you gonna ask me? Listen, if you're gonna call me a piece of shit again, I don't want to hear it. I mean, kind of the opposite. I was going to say, why don't you tell people about your own Mortal Kombat series that you're running? Oh, yeah. If you guys want to check it out, um, yeah. start.gg slash D-O-T-R-S-2. Definitely check it out. We got Champions of the Realms going down every Wednesday and Friday. And we got a lot of cool things for you to earn there if you sign up and uh, win one of these tournaments. So definitely check it out, especially if you're still in the competitive scene of Mortal Kombat 1. Guys, check it out. Champions of the Realms, Destroyer, Caboose, and others that, that joined, myself included over there. I was a guest commentator this season. It was awesome. Check it out. Champions of the Realms, 2-1 here. Forget Wrecked. Oh my god, smart stuff goes with the parry. That's going to be a reversal punish. Oh my god. Get Wrecked is an animal. He wants to close this out right now. Go for that plus frame jump in. Oh. I think he wanted to read a wake up with the. Here, keep yourself safe. Nice flawless block to avoid some of the chip, but I love that when you see flawless blocks, I, I tend to do the same thing where you just get like so change up in your staggers. Multiple down ones are a good way to kind of reset the block so you can get your chip damage out there. All right, it looks like he's trying Whoa. to get the super credits Whoa. here. Kale, walk up a little bit of a buffer and then into the low. Really trying to mix things up. Not falling for it, just get wrecked. It's all as a rock defensively. Offensively, a glass cannon. There we go. Was it was it, was it not a strike? Throw this time with the whole string and oh how smart God. was the down two punish? Down two punish is your best friend against striker. That's something everyone needs to start doing more often going up against this cameo, because it, it just like stops a lot of their uh, their setups going. Goes for the down two again. He actually could have cashed out on some way bigger damage there. He just assumed Striker was going to be there. Oh my god, we got Hype Meter hype. fully activated here. Let's see if Get right now, Wrecked can hype hit this shadow with kick. a 50% combo. Oh, I thought he was going to do it. Hype Shadow Kick would have been yeah, kind of wild just, if he just did. Just Hype Shadow Kick, bro. So there it is! Here it comes. Still the lead. Get Wrecked so ready for all of these situations so quickly. Woo! Still save those kills. Go so smartly himself, gone overneath some of these Lao hats. The max airtime as possible. Air Baraka! Oh my god. Online kills not out of this yet! 
Mr. Aquaman, he's gonna open him up. No breaker for Gibrick. He has to hold all of his damage. And he's got a striker ready and locked and loaded. What's it gonna be? He wanted the back three. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. It's gonna hurt. That hurts like a son of 952. Do you think this is one of the hardest hitting raw fatals in the game? I think so. Feels like it. 463. But Kale. I just walk up into some buttons. That's everything in his fatal blow. Back to something. Love that get wrecked is keeping the pressure on so hard and so tight that he can't get a fatal blow through. Gives us space now. That second Lao Hat was scary. Oh. Throw. Not enough to kill yet. Jumping with the nades. <gasps> Missed something! And then he locked him up. He's gonna get away with it. He missed a blade spark or something. No. Why? What? He did that before. He did that before. Mr. Aquaman, he did that same input error before. Remember, we we, we questioned no. it. We, you, you said yeah. it before. You said, why'd he do that? What is he looking for? Yo, online. Yo, where's oh. online Tony? You need to tell us right now. What is he looking for when he goes for that? He committed a crime on himself. Did he think a shadow kick was coming? But I, I think it's Blade Spark, because usually Blade Spark's here, and it looks like there's enough hit advantage for the jail. Oh my. Maybe not. God, but it, that but is it. so unfortunate right now what we witness online, Kale. On you, the verge, <laughs> putting us into a game five situation against Get Wrecked, but Get Wrecked is going to be taking it. But I think that he was, he just got lost in the, the hit advantage of the lockup trying to get i think it's a down back input i don't know anything could have happened but he did want projectile tony is confirming ggs online kale will be sent to losers. you think you think you think tony started yelling at his son you think he was like you stupid idiot you could have won he's like son he said, now you're gonna be doing homework for the rest of the week i'm sick and tired of your shit online kale son for that drop that's another two months without your cell phone young man <laughs> that's what, that's what I mean, bro, like, not for nothing, online Tony, he knows, because isn't, did you, t the dude is literally an Evo, he was an Evo finalist, finalist. back in the day. For the for, very first for one Kombat for Mortal 9? Kombat 9. Yeah. Like, that's pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy, if you ask me. Congratulations, Get Wrecked. You're ruining kids' dreams. Up next, we've got Sunio going up against Blackfellow, the Reptile. Ooh. Sunio was a Reptile player back in MKX. It, interesting enough, because he was a little bit more of a zoner, the, the bubbles were a little stronger. They went full screen. They were active the whole time, right? Yeah. You could just do a, a, a billion of them, and you could play that kind of, you know, more full screen control game. 100%, and, uh, man. I mean, we'll we'll see what happens moving forward here. I mean, the next match we got up is going to be a very good one. I mean, Get Wrecked probably feeling on top of the world right now. I think that win that he got over uh, online kill. Oh, it's going to put him in the finals. He's actually not in the grand finals winner side just yet. Sunio and Blackfellow are going to be the, the match to actually make that finals match happen. Which we've got right now before our eyes. Oh, this is going to be Yes! Reptile the versus Mototo. Liu Kang. Liu Kang Mototo. You have made Freaking Mototo. Mototo. The single most powerful. Mototo. The single most powerful cameo in Mortal Kombat 1. You think so? Look at him! Look at him! He is a 12-foot centaur. Are you kidding me? With a with a tail that's a gun. I don't know, man. Some of his cameo moves are kind of... Kind of... Oh, look at that! Look at that! The teleport! Nah. Oh, plus frames that, that with right a 4 there, and 4. That right there is a problem. <laughs> you know what would have been crazy is if you can convert that uh, forward cameo from him. Yeah, that if, would if be you, If you could convert the low fireball, oh That'd my god. Yeah, he would have been the best cameo in the game free. Oh, it's not going to matter, though, because look at... I only got one touch on this man and eviscerated a health bar. Soon you know that I'm not picking up the bar right now, but woo! That was cool. Whatever it was. What just happened was cool. He got through it. Good block. He's going to get the flawless block activated as well. Tries to go for the overhead. Oh. Time to jump in. It's so awkward. 
Not sure how to convert sometimes. Let's go jump kicks. Good teleport. And Motaro also gives Lou combo off his back throw. Yeah, Motaro just as viable as Kung Lao, in my opinion, for a cameo for Liu Kang. 100%. Yeah, very that high. That was a list. really good invisible mix up there from Blackfellow. He's going to put him in the corner. Wow, Meaty's in with that low string. He gets a conversion off of the uh, whatever the hell just happened there. Blackfellow's on fire here. Looking for a convincing 1 0 lead. That's an awful lot of chip. That's like 200 damage in chip. You don't realize he's got the jump back read. Only ate one grenade, which is going to keep himself alive. Sunio, I mean, can he do it? He took, is that the block? GG's. Oh, he needed a flawless block there to stay alive. Incredible pressure from Blackfellow. Going to be going up one game to zero on Sunio. This is how you want to see things get started. I mean, no offense to Sunio. I definitely want to see him strive. But Reptile thriving in top eight. How much you want to Sign bet that? Me up. How much you want to bet he himself goes to striker? He should. I don't see why not. I mean, what what is the uh, ideology on using the Motaro? Is he trying to get some reflections on the nades or something? Maybe some counterplay around Striker? I'm not too sure. Yeah, because the Motaro reflect and shots aren't good against Reptile for a multitude of reasons. The EX dash gets rid of uh, Motaro pretty, uh, the, like the turret setup's pretty easy. Wow. Um, the reflect is useless full screen against the bubble. And again, he can just acid bubble and then dash in behind it. And thus, reflect not really mattering. And if he stays outside of low shot range, it doesn't really matter in zoning either. But it will be the switch to striker. Gonna try to return some of the favor of the poop whoops. Still far to no avail. Drop out the there in the corner. Oh That's no! Oh! Bro, this is Striker Inception right now. Strikers all over the place. Who's the better backup? Striker or Striker? Okay, very smart awareness from Sunio jumping out of that setup there. Gonna get a lot of projectile damage going in. There it is. Commits to that full string to close out the round. Round two. Fight. Beautifully spaced by Sunio. Knew exactly where he could be upon landing. Just had some active frames waiting for him. Put that bubble away. Put that cookie down. You damn dirty lizard. Dylan. Dylan. Put that cookie down now. Oh, he wants to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, he's picking it up right there. Reptile, reptile thing. Gets him with the host cookie. Hold on a second. <laughs> that, that throws gnarly. In animation. Reptile kind of vicious in this game. Oh, best throw in the game free. Oh, he's totally invisible. He went for the low. Sneaky lizard. A tricky lizard, and that will be death upon invisible animation. Yeah. Wow. Nice conversion. It was only 180, but boy, did it look good. Safe on the overhead, too. You fully hold it. Okay, okay, okay both nearing their breaker overhead oh he's not gonna be able to get the throw combo but damage is damage at the end of the day wow look how low he shot those fireballs oh my god that's a pretty clean execution from Sunio, i gotta say and that should just about do it no breaker available for black fellow gonna have to hold all of that plus the brutality you don't gotta filter them he's reptile you don't got a filter, Reptile. Oh, we don't? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, he's uh, he, he has green blood. He's got green blood and he's got uh, brown. Uh, what, huh? We're still going to get demonetized. As sad that's the as that is, that's the, true. Real, that's the real joke. As we're going to do all this for no reason whatsoever. Upon manual review, we've determined that it, it's still not suitable for all, all our audiences. <laughs> that's exactly how it is. <laughs> I think that's the, that's the email. <laughs> that's exactly how it is. <laughs> I haven't memorized. Yes. I'm used to just seeing it and then scrolling it and just swiping it. You're just like, don't show me. Yeah, this. just yeah. I don't I, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. It's better not to know. All right, let me get the rose pork low main with a side of reptile. I know what Mr. Aquaman wants right now. He's dying for some peeking duck. 
And then what I want more than anything are those reptile skin boots. Those those fresh Jeterans. <laughs> Yo! That's, that's actually... <laughs> that actually sounds like something somebody would say, right? Yeah. Yo, I got those Zenterran 10s. Yo, I got those, I got new those Zenterran 5s. That's Legit. crazy. Real Zenterran. Oh. Yeah, no striker to back it up. He's a man. Sometimes you just don't need striker. Either that or these players are just mis miscalculating their uh, cameo meter. Oh my god. This is not gonna kill. What do you think the mix is gonna be afterwards? Charge back to raw EX death roll. He's definitely gonna do something to back him up with striker. Probably the dash. The dash with striker seems to be the go to. Oh yeah. What I tell you? What I tell Whoa. you? What? <laughs> I'm gonna start main in reptile. He should. Jump back into the fireballs. He's got that timing down to a perfection right now. Mm, and there's the curse of the regular acid bubble from Reptile. Doesn't go full screen, but disappear three quarter screen. Perfect dash to get through the uh, striker. It's on his own. But if he EXs the acid bubble, it will go full screen. Flame on. Who goes underneath it? That was a good block by Sunia. Face is paying off. Get some damage. Boss Box in the middle of the fourth four string. He's just gonna save himself, and that one flawless block will give him, I think, the three health to possibly mount the comeback. No up block from Sunio. 50 50 off the back, too. He's making miracles happen. No! Oh. The, oh. the jump back kick knocking him out of the lizard attack. I have expected the, the death roll to win in that, you know, as, I, as we saw Liu Kang jump back. Yeah, sometimes that. the hitbox on the death roll is, is uh, you know, it's Lim pretty, pretty low. It's a little juicy for, for Reptile. Yeah. I think this match exist. is going to be a huge determining factor <laughs> in who ends up taking this set. I mean, you want to go up two games to one in a situation like this. These players are fighting for it. We got the rounds tied. Whoa, that was sick. No. That, was, that was ridiculous. Smash into anti-air? Oh, He's my God. Reptile God right now. That oh is, that, God. That is Reptile God. My Shit, it's a Nah, this dude That's is clean with it. That was too good. You gotta convert Ooh. off of this. Of course he's gonna convert off of that striker. Oh, no. So, you know, I thought he was gonna get a full punish there. Had no wow. idea that Reptile had already recovered. And GG, that'll be a 2-1 lead. That dash anti-air was a piece of art. I mean, everything everything Blackfellow's doing right now is honestly a, a piece of art. The dude is extremely calculated with the reptile play. Everything he does kind of has a purpose to it. You know, he goes for the dash, gets the striker to back it up, does the perfect spacing to hit you with the back three, and everything just adds up. Looking up, very overwhelming for Sunio. Let's see if he can recompose himself going into this potential final game here. Blackfellow. Is up two to one against Zonio. Reptile in grand finals? Oh, I want to see that. Let me get some reptile in grand finals, please. Let me get some Peacemaker. In grand finals this week. Are you going to allow Peacemaker as soon as he comes out? Day, day one. Let's go. Where the Omni Man's at? You tell me. Bro, COTR, bro, Champion of the Realms has been having a lot of Omni Mans. I need him over here. I'm trying to go, I'm trying to take some mustache rides. I mean, I'm trying to see some mustache rides. When, when do you throw, I'm going to sign up for that. When, is it, when do you throw these? This is every, uh, <laughs> every Sunday, that's right. Every Sunday, I'm going to try to sign up for one. And I'm going to get top eight and everybody will be like, wait, what? You probably will. I am the okay. Okay. Round two, fight. I bet I knew this player. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna try. I also rigged the brackets here. Oh hell yes! I'm definitely signing up. Then you'll see me in uh, <laughs> week five for sure. Gotta just jump and in this, back here. This Zoning. is Zonio. This is this Zonio. Is Zonio. The man Zonio the legend. reincarnated. 
You see, Zonio is actually a mantle that's passed on from generation to generation. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just the current, the current mantle. <laughs> and he has to pass it on to someone else. That's insane. It has, it has begun though. That was just a full zone fest. 2024. Yes, sir. And it looks like we're right back on track on the uh, game, game fives all day, every day. I mean, you look at this replay. It was just projectile striker, mm. just waiting for Black Fellow to kind of just put himself in a bad situation and get that punish. And then look at that, man. That jump kick with projectiles in the air that uh, Zonio loves to do. It just covers so much. My intent to see Not only that, I gotta admit again, I don't know if he has like a method to the madness, but he does it at the same height every single time, Aquaman. There's got to be like some sort of tech. And what's there it is, more, baby, so light it it up. Our fourth one of the winner's side alone in this top eight bracket. And it is first blood going to Blackfellow on the hunt. Is the Zataran striker got clipped? He didn't expect it, but the wake up my dog. Oh, Rebel. Black fellow right now. Unbelievable start. Yeah, that went from near timeouts to a 10 second round off a couple of reads. Now match point for Blackfellow. For Reptile in grand finals, could the thumbnail be in a little bit cooler? Wait a minute. Whoa, did you see everything going on in that, that round there? It was just strike grenades, projectiles from both players. This is a wild house right now. Oh, strike mm. not Special cancel doesn't matter, though, because he got the full damage there. That was some tech from soon as well to go through the first hit of the string. Take, making a note of that. That was just a regular projectile, so he doesn't get the trader to go through it. Oh, the my bubble. God. Oh, my God. That, 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 that setup is disgusting. Bro, that's the second even, time. You thought that he was me. You, you thought he was in like whiff recovery of the tail, and then boom, he did like a back dash blow and you gave him hope. That's. I, was, I, 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 I didn't even see when the dude was oh. in this. <laughs> exactly how I feel right now. This is getting way too crazy. He goes for the full screen there, backs it up with the striker, Ooh. and there it is. We got ourselves a match point game five situation again. That's one way to stop the infinite button press fest that was happening right there, and the raw dash that you know was coming from the the reptile it's a final round now between these two in the coliseum winner semis winner to face and get wrecked yo in those finals big trades of projectiles closing the gap his fellow puts himself in the corner he's out he's in all for staggers are all soon he'll jump himself back in but look that even if you dash him you might be meeting that jump back kick he's covering so well what what striker just got grabbed raw in his face no Co way he got the Tickle Me Elmo special right there. He tickled his striker special. <laughs> I'll tell you that. That doesn't sound right. Walk up into a throw, Sunio. Oh, if he would have had a different cameo, that would have been GG's. And Jeez, there yeah, it that is, is the jump back kick into the infant. Oh, my God. Sunio's so having a party right now. Cleaning up the streets. One win at a time. Locking him up, stopping the dream. He, he, that he turned into Zatarin and win his finals. He turned into Blue Man Group there. Studio going right to the live chat, saying that's the best reptile I've ever played. Wow. That's a, that's some big props. I know. Wait a second, yo, Sunio trying to throw some shade or what's going on here? No, that's the I've I've never seen Sunio not not sh throw shade. That was, pretty, that was pretty. You, you, surprising. Is, he, is he trying to throw some shade to the other reptile players out there? Because absolutely, yeah. probably. <laughs> well, really good but, stuff, man. But, but wow. He's going to be advancing. I'm seeing some more of that, man. Yeah, I mean, keeping that winner side be... as well. That's some really good stuff from Sunio, and he's got to go up against Get Right Yo if he wants to find himself in the grand finals. That's going to be a tough match to deal with. Someone said the world is crashing around them because they heard Sunio compliment someone. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, right? It's like you, you, can, you, you can't take a compliment from Sunio. With, you got to take it with caution because it's like, wait, <laughs> are you saying this because he really was the best reptile or are you just coming at all the other reptile players here? Because, you know, as, as far as I'm concerned, I'm the best reptile. Also got an update. Looney taking it over SJB off stream. 
Yakuza taking it over Grinch. Off stream as well. GG's guys. They are going home at 7th tonight. And so right now, we're actually going to take our first break of the night. I need to go okay. use the restroom. Um, I'm sure you guys do as well. When we come back, we're going to jump down into the loser side of things. I'll probably run one of these off stream and one of them on stream. Um, I'll probably run just to, just to see him once more, two weeks in a row. I want to see some more online kill. Oh, no. You know what? Maybe I'll let the chat vote. Or should right, we see you know both? what? I'm going to boot you know up into Hell Destroyer. Divers, yeah. and Destroyer. I'm going to see if I can get okay? uh, queued in. Are you okay with us streaming both of those losers' quarters? Because I, I kind of want to see both. Yeah, man. I'm down for whatever. I want to see Blackfellow's uh, Reptile some more, Yakuza's Kenshi, new names. Let's new do players. it. Yeah, we, we'll just show them all from here on out, guys. We'll be right back. Uh, I believe a three-minute break. Go use the restroom real quick. Grab some snacks. Please get some snacks, and please drink some water. Something healthy. Be healthy out there. Love you guys. Thanks for watching the Coliseum and some Mortal Kombat here. Destroyer's with me tonight. The absolute goat. Love you, Destroyer. Thanks for being here. We'll be dropping us some hell divers later, my friend. We got hell you. Yeah. We have to, we have a democracy to save. It's a bugs to murder, guys. Three minutes. We'll be right back. Uh, losers quarters coming up. So my mother get arrested, yeah. working like I never knew I'm blessed, yeah. Every single day I feel the pressure, diamonds in my eyes are no special. In the gym I gotta get my reps up, in the gym I gotta get my reps up. Welcome back to the Coliseum, presented by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. Never beat, I've been down and I reappear. You got some money on the line, you better put it here. Rolling in and doing that work. Check priorities, I'm doing that first. Checks big and I'm Welcome back, everybody. 
We got the Coliseum Week 4 action underway here. Top 8 going down. We've had some incredible matches leading up to this moment right here. And let me tell you, if we get one more Game 5... I if we get one more Game 5... I'll, I'm going to love it. I'm going to be very excited about that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited just think about it right now. Because we might have a Game 5 coming up. Bring it back on the stage already. The youngster, the prodigy. Online Kale. 2 one, 3 going to be going up against Ludi. Up next on stream. In Losers. Quarterfinal of a top 8. With a winner. We'll make the finale of this series. This series is an 8-week Mortal Kombat 1 series. Each week, a winner will be determined. And 8 finalists will be set at the end. Those 8 finalists will play for our prize pool that is raised each and every week. And currently we are sitting at 500 plus dollars. Oh Jeez. yeah. Woo -wee. Do you That's know what, what you can like buy to see. with $500? Something. What can you get with $500? One of everything on the menu at McDonald's. That's about it. Man, that sounds like what I'm going to have to do after this top eight. <laughs> That sounds what I might have to do with this yeah, time. Are you kidding yeah, me? A nice, little, good. a nice one of everything at McDonald's? Let me do it. Uh, yeah, let me get one of everything real quick. Quick. Maybe. Players in. Kale. Ludi. They're locked in. I don't think that they met last week, but I'm going to look it up just in case. Let's see if they got any history here. All right, here we go. We're getting into this action. Ludi going up against Online Kale, the young prodigy that's been shocking the world with his Baraka skills. This man saw Tekken Master pop off at the, what is it, the UFL? And the next thing you know, he said, That's really good! It sounds like, please don't. They did not meet last week, so as far as I know, so this could be their very first meeting ever. Look who's active as Ludi is in these online tournaments. Might be surprised if they haven't met before. He's gonna start off bleeding, is Ludi. Look at the health bar on block. Just look, even, even a block. Whoa, like, that like, was. Like 300 damage is gone. Bro, that was so much chip damage out of nowhere. That was some crazy stuff from online. Kale gonna get the micro duck punish of a lifetime, and that should just about do it here. Giving himself game number round number one. I'm still a little flabbergasted that a third of that health bar was on block. And only a few seconds. Look, I'm somewhere. Oh, bro, don't sleep on Morocco. He's got multiple ways to apply that bleed damage, right? And start taking away that life bar and then pair that up with some of his crazy Dude, normals. Bleed and shift, bleed and shift is a, just a whole other story. And it, and it can be a completely different way to approach how you defeat your opponent here in Mortal Kombat 1. If you guys are just, you know, tuning in at more of a base level, thinking of different ways to get rid of that health bar of your opponents to get a W. Ooh, Not joking block. about that. That was sick. Ludi gonna convert into some big boy damage. Unfortunately, he loses the corner. I don't think he was looking for that, but he's gonna have to work with what he's got. That's what scary spots to be is when you're both in down one range in the corner. What a rock, paper, scissors. Online kill. No breaker to worry about. We're about to drop. No, eight of 378 and that's chopping away some more the health bar. And guys, train your eyes a little bit sometimes as a viewer when you're watching them block these massive sequences. Look up at the, at the health bar. Like, watch Louis' health bar kind of just disappear like a magic trick on block, on hit, and on my kill. We'll end this with a... Nice! Oh my god! I thought it was over, and then he went ahead and sliced her in half. Baraka serving cold cuts. Oh, like an Urukai wanting dinner. Yeah, he said, what do you like, honey turkey? Sendel Looks turkey. like meat's back on our menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> the Baraka Gonna special. Game number one going to online kill. I know you, you gotta just picture Tony right now losing his mind, watching his son kick some ass here, man. You know, do you think that he's just in the back with like his Sith robe on, just going, yes? 
I won't let Tarkan yeah. No, he, he's definitely standing at the doorway of his son's room. Dad gut out. The dude's got his. <laughs> no. he's, he's got one hand on the hip. He's got the other hand holding on on the on the door frame. And he's he's not in his head. He said, "Yeah, that's the stuff." Like, hold it, sip it on a Coors Light. Just, <laughs> oh yeah. Sip it on a Coors Light. You, this is exactly how I picture it. Do a load next time. Do a load next time. Do it. Do a load next time. I mean, he, you know what's crazy is legit. The the dad can coach him. It look. Oh, if yeah. the dude was good enough to take a and top eight in good. Evo, you have to know about frame data. Real good in Street Fighter 4, too. Wow. And a multitude of games. Another good throw here from Ludi. We should be putting out a video, too, on the Coliseum channel uh, that shows some of the footage of Tony's match from that Evo um, alongside uh, some of Online Kale's matches last week. Got our introduction to him. Oh, and let's introduce ourselves back to Ludi. Trying to set up a fun to blockable, but the delay wake up from online kill got him out of it. Luda! Is that a bait attempt? On a fatal blow? Maybe. Oh, that's death. No way that works. I thought it was death! He blocked it, and he also got the punish? I mean, online kill placing his bets with these reads, but my god, I would have thought that would work. I thought that was a good one. Woo! And that had a nice hitbox to it. Nice. And right, solid round from Bro, isn't it crazy that Sindel can go into air stance and literally recover on the landing almost instantly? That has been one of my personal gripes with a lot of NRS uh, situations where, you know, there is no recovery to things, you know, to like aerial things like that. Yeah, no, there isn't. Jail, you go. Woo! I, I, at least got you some breathing room away from Baraka. That was a too far away. Ends the string though. Talk about some pushback. It caught a whiff on his with the overhead. No extension, but Kale. We'll get another Very nice. next point. Online Kale looking to put himself two games to zero on a on a veteran, it seems, of Ludi. Yeah, Ludi's been one of the most consistent wow. online players in North America for, I'd say, the last four years straight. Maybe longer. Oh, for sure. Online kill, though, looking to dethrone that title here from Ludi. Okay, I gotta give it to, uh, I gotta give it to Ludi, though. He's, his blocks have been out of control right now. <laughs> it got through the armor. The space to avoid the, the hit. Got enough this to the armor, get the punish, and this oh, is all looting for a, for a one, right there. one, no! Who's 1.1 1. 1 health? No, 3.4. Okay, there it is. The low hack gonna close it out. Online kill. Catching the casualty here. Let's see how he bounces back in this next game. These players are swinging at each other right now, man. You'll love to see it. You can tell that it's having to bring out the best in both. Beautiful setup there by Ludi. Fun, fun situation. When he's got the full Lao hold out, coming down from the sky. What's the timing on the jump in? What's the timing on the release of the Lao hat? Great way to open up your opponent, Ludi. Utilizing it very well. Ties up with a game of peace. Are we destined for another game five? Because Destiny is what it's felt like. I mean it. I think it's safe to say we are destined for another game five. I think we're going to be getting game fives up until the grand finals. Wow, just a raw back three going to open him up. I wonder what Ludi tried to do there to get caught slipping by that. I mean, I don't care who you are, man. That back three is going to catch you at least once. So is, no matter how many times you see that move, like you instantly think overhead. And then, bam, you get clipped by the low. Really good block by Cal too. Made it through the last setup, but swing from Ludi. Looks for the up block too. Not there. Goes with a chomp of the neck. I think gets good on knockdown here, but disrespected. Ludi's woken up buttons quite a few times as the set is progressed. Good pure lockup. And they're getting another execution error coming out of it with the stand one. Trying to get back forward one. 
and will sometimes, I think, try to rock to the back, get the down back, and a float might get her out. No! Finally, the spark is quick enough to hit something on reaction on lane Kale. Yeah, think you know, I figured... It. I figured Kale wasn't throwing those What are you out eating? Just for, for the hell of it. Wait dude. a minute. What are you eating? What? Are you eating right now? Oh, I thought you were eating. My bad. Oh, no, I'm sipping on some coffee. <laughs> I thought you were snacking. I'm, I'm sorry, Destroyer. I mean, you want me to go get some snacks? I'm gonna go get some snacks right now. That Chinese food keeps sounding better and better. Good block from Online Kale. This man just dodged the craziest heart to blockable from Sindel. Yes. Destroyer, the only reason I was trying to skip these matches and losers was to get Chinese food here. Bro, tell me about it. Ooh. You know what? I agree with the viewers. They want to see both. The, or all four of the players here in the losers' quarters. I agree. They did a fantastic night. Alright, fine. You know what? Let's not see anything then. Gonna get a nasty conversion off of the strike grenades. Well, that combo actually put him in a bad spot. I think he might have mistimed it a little bit. Moody right now. On the verge of tying up these rounds. Should be hard for Kale without meter to go through any of the zoning with striker to back it up. Just close the gap too far away from the battle. Oh my god. And there it is, the wake up overhead. From Ludi gonna take that round. This is wild stuff we're witnessing here. Online Kale just betting it all on the line, going for the Baraka Barrage. Striker needs backing him up there. Goes for a back three. Looks for the throw, but the neutral jump mm. from Ludi. Can't believe he recovered from that throw. Yeah, what the hell was that about? Create a raw, raw boot to the face. Another one with the overhead. Backing up away. Didn't believe enough in the second read. But Ludi's health bar still falling apart. And you can't armor. You have to deal with these shit. Jimmy's gonna get the down for him. Oh, my mother of pearl just armors in. We'll have one more striker. Breathe. Maybe just waiting for a chance to press it here. It's a tech of the throw. Maybe getting in accidentally with the poke. There's no situation where striker gave up a turn. Comes late enough. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 is he not going to fade a blow? Goes for the setup. Oh my oh, god. Oh, he's out of control. No breaker available for online kill either. That is going to be a highway robbery. Ludi taking it two games to one. What a maniac. I, I hope that we can see all of that back. Because there are so many things that he did in a row. That my brain can't function anymore. Wow. Okay, Ludi. Okay. Nah, I think we got a DQ Ludi after that. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, right there. The scream going... Like, her animation in the scream got her under and forward through the grenade destroyer. Am I saying that and thinking that right? Can we see that again? I don't think you've been saying anything look at the first right one. this entire this entire time. Look, look right here. Scream. <laughs> yeah, GG's. Alright, let's see if any any of us can recover. Kale included. Oh no, this looks like a, a mind shattered destroyer. Eating throws to get started. I'm ready to just start slamming my head onto the concrete floor here. Okay, wait a second. Gonna go for the throw. Online Kale. Being a little sneaky. Tarkatan. <laughs> Good throw. Yep, Tracker's gonna back it up. At least uh, Ludi caught a flawless block to try to mitigate some of that chip damage. But Baraka, man, the nature of this character is just straight savageness. He is not going to let up on that pressure no matter what you do to him. The breaker's going to come too late. Kale is going to be, even at a young age, reserved in his resources to save into the final round right there. You can break right there and believe in a comeback, but he recognizes the situation once it's the final round. Smart. I mean, it always amazes me when you see these young players kind of like picking up these games at this super high level because it just makes you think how they're gonna you know grow up and develop in the future of these fighting games yeah what's like, the big problem is is that we had to, to deal with this kid for like another 10 years destroyer another 20 years 
Yeah, isn't that scary to think of? Yeah. A little bit of a problem. The more I think about it. I don't like that. And Ludi doesn't want to think about it either and says, you will have to try next week, young man. And is going to give him a Merry Christmas. He was able to take out the Grinch, but he wasn't able to take out... Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Santa Claus. That's, so, that's such a funny fatality. <laughs> when, when I heard you were getting a Christmas fatality, this is the last thing I thought of, bro. The last thing I thought of. Krampus Khan pulled up with a ho, ho, ho. Christmas. Christmas. And just like the cons of old conquered the skulls of his enemies. He most definitely did. Incredible stuff from Ludi advancing to the loser semifinals where he's going to be awaiting the winner of Black Fellow versus Yakuza Knight. Ooh, now some more, that, some more now that is a match I want to see. Ooh, reptile? Ooh. You know, even though it's Kenshi, at this point, any character matched up against Reptile is an interesting one for me because... Reptile's definitely pretty underutilized in this game, right? There's only a handful of players that kind of play him at high level in tournament. And Blackfellow being one of those players, I kind of want to see how he's going to approach this Kenshi matchup here from Yakuza. And when I think about it, Reptile might be a good pick for Kenshi. You know, he's got a lot of fast dashes that could potentially get him out of the Sento pressure. Yeah, very... Uh, I mean, EX Dash alone in any of those gaps. Yeah, exactly, we'll right? We'll have, because then he's we'll got the striker to make Yakuza. it safe. He literally has a free escape card for Sento. We'll see if Yakuza tries to keep some of the pressure more jaily, because if you guys pay attention to um, a lot of different competitive Kenshis, you'll notice that you can have different styles, whether it be ways to get Sento out, but also utilizing Sento and pressure, whether you're gonna be mix heavy, or if you're gonna be pressure heavy, in that you're gonna be uh, stopping people from pressing buttons versus trying to bait people from armoring or guessing an overhead or a low. There's multiple ways that, that you can play it. And I've played, you know, ones that just jail the whole way and you're like, okay, I just gotta, I just gotta wait for 30 seconds. Uh, which you could be trying to bait a lot here um, against Reptile, just trying to mash something. Cause you know, you know these Reptile players are just mashing back forward, whatever the input of dashes all day for the rest of their lives since 2000 and in 12 whenever mk9 Raiden's came out victory no you're right about that man i think you just nailed it on the head we're gonna see everything that aquaman said come to life in this next match here but wait remember we were talking about reptile escaping that central pressure look who yakuza the side of the play man look who yakuza the side of the play i feel like we all read that like a book bro <laughs> he was like i don't want to deal with that either He's probably watching the stream, listening to everything we had to say about it. He's like, you know what? <laughs> you wait for me. They're on to something. He's like, this guy, this guy's right. I'm gonna use Johnny Cage. Forget about all that. Oh my God, that was perfect spacing with that tail attack. My God, Black Fellow. Oh, and with the max hold, that's a pushback enough for him to harass with the low again. And Yakuza wasn't ready for it. Is anyone ready for this reptile that is just on a different speed than everyone else feels like? I don't think everybody's ready for this He's rocking Nimble reptile. reptile, bro. He, but no one else can use Nimble Reptile but him, apparently. Oh, shoot. He went over! Completely over! That's his heck. That was sick. He, he tried to do it before, but it didn't kind of work out to his favor, but that time it did. I mean, look at this pressure right now, Mr. Aquaman. He is just ragdolling Yakuza Knight here. If this doesn't work out for Yakuza, I'd probably say he should give the Kenshi a shot. Even though he doesn't feel comfortable about the matchup, just playing your main character can do wonders for you, man. And on top of that, that is going to be death if you don't break it does. Uh-oh. What do you do here? Played around? Oh, Come into the full screen to close out the round. That was so sick. Black fellow. Taking game number one, and yo, not to, not for nothing, Aquaman. That was, that was kind of free. That was, that was kind of free. Hold up, Blackfellow looking real dangerous right now.
Ever since he was freed from Shang Tsung's grasp, he wants to pass that along to everyone else, Destroyer. He said, Shang Tsung, please, I will continue to sing an end sync for you. Just don't kill my family. And then Shang Tsung said, mm, Shut up, you stupid Luka. lizard. <laughs> I was helping the bad guy the whole time? Oh, no way. That's Mortal Kombat. That's Mortal Kombat one story mode in a nutshell. Mortal Kombat one story mode in a nutshell. That was, the entirety, that was the entirety of Reptile's Spoiler story alert. in Mortal Kombat 1. Somebody said we tricked Yakuza into dropping Kenshi. <laughs> nah, go, yo, Yakuza, yeah. pull out the Kenshi, bro. Don't be afraid. I mean, Aquaman, would you agree to me to an extent? Like, okay, even no, though so you have say, a bad matchup with a character, it's always not the end of the world. And with a yes. character that can, you know, matchups don't matter when you get the hit and when you get the Sento Sandwich going. The matchup could be 3-7 against Kenshi. Whoa, this gets... is allowed. What is Blackfellow doing? What happened? Yakuza can definitely take this right now, no? Do it! Do it! Yakuza, go for the throat! Wait, what's happening? Oh, it exploded. It exploded. Everyone exploded. I exploded too. Wait, 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 wait. No, oh, it said Blackfellow left. He kind of stopped playing and just left. It's... So did he pick something wrong? What happened? Maybe, maybe. I'll wait to hear from him, but only him left. Therefore. Um, not good. I mean, we kind of had a situation like this. Um, the last Champions of the Realms we did. And how do you go about that? Because we, we, we had a match between two players. One of the players left, blamed it on the servers, which could probably be the issue. But it said he left, everybody was in. And it was kind of a debate whether we give him the win or not. And I, I mean, how, how, how do so, you feel about that? So my approach is that if, if they are the only ones to leave the King of the Hill, it's a loss. Oh, really? Yep. Um, he says, I uh, understood, ladies and gentlemen, a situation has come up with that player and they can no longer play. That is oh, man. what I have. But he, he says he is so sorry. He simply has to leave. I mean, hey, apologies. No, listen, listen, listen. Real, like real talk, real talk. Sometime life com comes first, you know. And and I respect Blackfellow for, for for being a man of responsibility yeah, yeah, and please, please you know doing first. doing whatever it is that he has to do. Hopefully, it's not you know something bad or an emergency or anything. So I also I, hope I for also the best for you know Fellow. that's also the most gangster move imaginable. He got paid off by the Yakuza to throw the match. That's fucking insane. <laughs> no, don't say that now, man. Come on. <laughs> Don't say now you're gonna be paying your Kuzanitas in some type of medicine society. This imagine I'm just, though. I'm just, I'm just saying. Imagine though. I'm just saying. I mean, so, hey, look, it, it saves us another game five to watch. What you're saying is it did not happen. Um, Yakuza, you can back out because we are gonna go up to winners finals for the next one. Um, unfortunate. Blackfellow, GG's man, you were kicking some ass tonight. That reptile was so clean. That dash Yo. anti re, re, destroy that dash anti air. Was Incredible stuff. I really hope we get to see him in uh, Coliseum Week Five, man. You know, like I said before, you really don't get to see too many reptile players showing out like that. Yo, Blackfellow, if you're listening to this or watching this, sign up for Champions of the Realms, motherfucker. What you doing, bro? Where the, Tell him. where the where the hell you at, bro? Sign up for Champions of the Realms Wednesdays and Fridays. Sign up. Destroyer, I would, but I work on Wednesdays. You know, I've told you. I'd, I'd be in there every week. Well, but, but sometimes one, on Thursdays. Hopefully one, day, hopefully one day you get a day off. But sometimes on Thursdays, you host exhibitions and I'm in there. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to get you into another one of those, man. And you're going to have to pull out the man, Raiden Motaro. Man, you put me against... The Rain Motaro. You put me against a demon last time. Like Who did I put no you up one, against last time? I forgot. You put me up against Wulender's Quan, and then I looked like a fool, and so did everyone at Frosty Faustings, if you watch that. <laughs> hey, so you're justified, bro. You don't even have to sweat it, that. I, it wasn't until Frosty Faustings where I could justify that, but I appreciate it. You were like, you know, I fought that guy in a insane. set. Let me tell you, that Quan Chi is, is something. He was cooking. Invites are out. 
All right, looks like we're gonna be getting into the next match here. I think we're jumping back into the finals, you said? Winner's final. Yeah, winner's, winner's finals final. now. Get wrecked, Sunio. Wow. Um, we got someone in the live chat saying that they tried to sign up, but it did not work. Re reach out to this man. Hey, okay. DM him. Your, your, your DM tournament him or my tournament? Your tournament. Oh, Ice Clone, you know what it is? He just doesn't know how to use start.gg. But hey, listen, Ice Clone, hit us up in the support tab on the wow. COTR cord, and we will get you into week, uh, week seven. Nah, trust me, these people do not know how to use start.gg. Yeah, I don't say it ever on here, guys, but please learn how to use start.gg. Most most people have gotten it down over the years. Well, that we appreciate it. But it, it really is the lifeblood of competing in the online tournaments right now to be able to operate that and understand it. So before you sign up for a tournament, please read the rules and please get familiar with Start.gg. Thank did, you. Did I just see Thank a you little... for coming to my TED Talk. Did I just see a little teabag action from Get Wrecked there? It has begun. I expect Sunio to return the favor if we're just talking with what's on the screen. And that can separate a great player from a bad player wow. alone, is someone who's comfortable enough with their own character to be able to communicate with their play. Did two shadow kicks into a forward three. Get wrecked is on fire right now. Got a jump kick right through the striker grenades too. This is looking bad for Sunio. He's got no way out of this corner. I know, he's kind of just back to the wall, tries to use the striker to save his life there. There it is. He's out. He's out. I don't know how the hell he got out unscathed, but he found the way. He's just trying to keep Get Wrecked away, and it's only it only works for about two seconds before he's able to find the pressure in. in here, that's one way to stop it. Assumed he was going to forward dash. Put something quick and active. Woo! Oh, he's going to open him up. He's going to open him up. Wait a second. There it is. Beautiful stuff from Sunio. He is keeping up with the best of the best tonight. I mean, Sunio has proven himself in Mortal Kombat 1. He's got multiple top eights already in online events and maybe uh, offline as well. I'm not too sure. But the dude's been doing his thing in Mortal Kombat 1, Aquaman. He's been yeah, doing time. his thing. Big time. A huge threat wherever and whenever he is. For sure. Whoa. I... I think he managed to get um, top eight at the last Pro Comp qualifier. Very strong stuff. I expect him to travel the combo breaker to try to get those points. Given those performances, but, but we'll see well, how he does in Yo, the next listen. two qualifiers, because there's two qualifiers Yo, left listen, in Pro listen. Competition. I applied for commentary for combo breaker, man. Put in the good work for me, bro. Get me oh, in I, there, man. Oh, I got Get you, bro. There, bro. Do you know how fucking Hollywood I am, bro? Oh, get me in there, bro. Do you? Listen, if they give me a commentary block with you, oh my god. They couldn't handle Jeez. it. Oh, here we go. Yo, Gonna connect a fatal couldn't... blow on a confirm. Wait. No, no that, was yeah, 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 yeah. that was a confirm. That was a confirm. He's just dead. Ah, that's gonna do it right there. Get wrecked, taking game number one. Down to the wire, too. Holy cow, I didn't realize how close that was. Yeah, bring it. Side, as close as ever. Three matches going to game five. No, sorry, four matches going to game five. A fifth going, 3-1. Only one egg in winner so far. Let's see, those little projectiles. It's amazing how much he gets away from and doesn't deal with anything when he does that jump back kick air projectile. I've been noticing it. Like it is such a, it feels like win, 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 lose situation every time he does it. Like, I mean, think you know, about it. you know, how, how, how many characters have an option to deal with that? The only one I can think of off the top of my head is probably Quan Chi with Sky Drop. Maybe Omni Man with the Viltrum Stand 4 on Reaction. You could punish the projectiles. But every other character, if you don't have somebody that can just like get around projectiles, you kind of just got to sit there and hold that jump back three projectiles in the air that he's doing. That right there, like Johnny gets locked down by it. Kind of got to pace yourself and, and make your way in and get that pressure going. Hold that Zunio. 
I almost said Zonio on command. When his back is to the wall, he's still unafraid to send projectiles and challenge people with him. Take some boldness. Woo! I mean, like right there, right? You would never expect it, and he just threw that out. Also the low. Oh, this pressure is oh, demonic here. Oh, I don't know what this is for. Wow. That's a rare bet from Sunio. Yeah, not a smart decision there. Kind of pulling the trigger on a YOLO fatal blow. Get wrecked. Sunio YOLO? What? Un this unbelievable. Is, this is Zonio. Zonio YOLO edition. What a down two. He said, get that striker nonsense out of my face. Zolio? Zolio, Zunio, Zonio. It's all the same shit. Over three is gonna connect. That's the guy that did uh, Gangster's Paradise, right? Oh no, that was Coolio. Who did that? Yolio? You're asking the wrong person. I don't even know, man. Back throw, but he's got no combo ability off. It's only Striker. He's got the corner. He needs to avoid some chip. Gets a gift with a jump back. He's lost a lot of pressure with the Striker. I've noticed that get wrecked against a couple of people. He'll, he'll like forward dash. And he knows to forward dash in the startup of Striker to get away from that forward nade oh. range. And it's so good as he takes game number two on his swift, vengeful run through the winner's side so far. It's pretty crazy, man, because when you when you pair up Johnny Cage with a cameo like Kung Lao, not only do you get some of the craziest pressure in the game, some intense 50-50 mix, but you also get a really good projectile. You know, you have low hat, and if you notice the way Get Wrecked is utilizing it here, he's just using it as a projectile, constantly throwing it out there to keep his, uh, Zonio in check. And it is working wonders for him. Incredible stuff from Get Wrecked. Yo, Skylar White, yo, Walter White, yo. Gonna be going up two games to zero here against Zonio. Let's see if he can close this out and get a 3-0 into the grand finals winner side where he's gonna be one step closer to getting a spot into the insane Coliseum finale. Studio starts his comeback now, taking half the life bar of this man over underneath the loud hat, and he's starting to make the reads. He's starting to come to life. He's about to get put into the cage prison. Maybe just call it cage, huh? Oh, possibly over red! And he has to break. On a 950, that was gonna be close to death. Yeah, red for you. Jumping striker. No, just lets him jump out of the corner. And both of these guys have gotten away with a couple of war crimes in that they've just jumped out of the corner. It's a random spots. And this is such a big up in that corner. No. 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 Yes. It worked. Yes. Get right. Gonna be putting himself in a match point position here with the craziest fatal blow parry I've seen all day today. Hey, Unbelievable that stuff. <laughs> rare ball is blocking. Parry of Cage's fatal blow actually worked as intended. No, don't tell me that. There it is, the famous jump back three whip into projectiles. Once more cages. Her box going and playing limbo. Under that first grenade, even down two. Whoa! Oh, whoa, hey, yo, what a combo. Okay. Okay. Yo. That was pretty sick. <laughs> this was playing get the grab each other with some with some crouch blocks. Into the stand-ups. So doing all the movement he wants to get wrecked. Let him do so with the lead. Gets him to the throw range, he falls for it. Jump back, kick, projectile time. Oh, you know it all day, baby. People call me Zonio for a reason. He's getting, he's getting chip out, and the jump three gonna close it out. Zonio. Strikes again. In the building. In the sky on the ground. It doesn't matter. He's gonna shoot a projectile. He can do it. A striker covers him perfectly. There, bought enough time. To deny Cage a follow and pressure off the Lao Hat too. The pressure is unmatched right now. He's gonna go for the throw. Stacking up that damage here. Get wrecked. 
With the jump in three, he had a flawless block on it, but I guess you still can't punish it. My God. Junio needs to get out of this corner right now. If not, it's going to be GG's. Oh no, all oh, that meter not mattering at all either. This is death on ship. This might be death on the throne it is. <laughs> um, get wrecked. Three to zero. A dominated win in winners finals. On a close run so far. We'll sit pretty. And I'll wait for the rest of this top four. Man, what a way to put yourself in the grand finals, man. That is a lot of momentum shifted towards get wrecked here. You know, anyone who ends up winning uh their loser side matches to get into loser size finals my lord they're gonna have quite the mount olympus to climb to defeat get wrecked my man's got a three game cushion now three games to kind of do whatever he wants kind of feel out his opponent it's gonna be a good one definitely gonna be a good one in the loser side right now we still have yakuza knight Who's gonna be going up against Ludi? Or oh yeah, because unfortunately Blackfellow had to DQ. Yeah. And then after that, we'll be getting the winner of that match going up against Zonio, aka Sunio. Incredible Sister top Sunio. eight so far. And Yakuza. Whose connections finally paid off. In the quarterfinals. Oh, what happened? He's been a Wi-Fi warrior ever since? Nah, his his connections destroy him. So you're telling me he's got connections with the Yakuza? Yeah. Oh, wait, allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, 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 allegedly. Not. Oh, he invited me. We're not naming names. So allegedly, this guy is part of the Yakuza. You might want to watch your back then because that sounds real dangerous to me. Oh, I, I joined Ludi. Was that not supposed to be? Me as well, me as well. Okay, yeah. okay, cool. cool. All right, really good stuff. It looks like Ludi wants to be getting host advantage here for this match coming up. It's going to be a crazy one. Yakuza, we know he's got a pretty strong arsenal of characters up his sleeve. He's got the Johnny Cage. He's got the Liu Kang. And he's got the Kenshi. All locked and loaded. I think they all have pretty good um, skill value here. So, the Let's see moment, who he picks. The moment that he... Uh, Blackfellow said that he had to DQ himself... Ludi immediately put in the chat. Oh no, I have to fight a Kenshi. So because he said that, I would pick Kenshi against him. But he's not going to. Okay, what is Yakuza doing here? How are you gonna have a name Yakuza and not pick the sword? Hey, you never know. Um, Aqua, he probably tried to bait him out to get the Kenshi. Maybe Ludi loves oh, to fight that character. Right. You never know. Maybe Ludi loves to fight that character, and then, you know, the reverse psychology, you make the player pick a different character. Who's not falling for it? He's going to be giving him the Liu Kang. He said, go ahead and pick Kenshi. You activated my trap card. Man, does Chameleon come that quick. So you get some pressure going. Some awesome float, uh, projectile cancel. On block right there. Most people in the crouch state don't want to see that go over him. And the queen have to recover, but no, you're clearly eating all this. And Booty's just getting to play his game and show us a gorgeous sequence. It's gonna be lights out. There's no way you break him, believe it. B and B. Yeah, he, oh, I thought he was gonna put him into a meaty uh, oh. low hat setup. Only a true master. Only a true master. Oh, he no blows way. up the armor. Oh my God. Fatal One blow. more. One more. You have to jump in! Kills without a What was that? <laughs> it's so broken! It's so broken! It's so broken! You can float. Oh, he flawless blocked, but didn't block the final overhead of that special cancel. What a match! Dude, you can you can be in a throw, tech or no tech, and I think Katana float out of it. I could be wrong, I don't know. There's some crazy tech out there in the wild using Chameleon, that's all I'll say. I mean, Chameleon's doing everything for everybody. You know what else is a crazy team? Um, Omni-Man Chameleon. I think I was telling about telling you about it earlier. That's what Deadly Rebel's been playing, and I, I really hope he shows up to the Coliseum one of these weeks so you can see what I'm talking about. I hope so, too. Yakuza's about to try another comeback. Mm. They'll walk up into nothing. Oh, my that God. Cooper, that was so what pretty. a pickup. That was so pretty. 
into that? the down to brutality. brutality. I think the statement has been said. Oh yeah, you know what the statement is? Get off of Liu Kang and bring up the Kenshi. Give me that Kenshi. Oh, the there's Deadly Rebel. Where were you today in this bracket? We want to see oh, the yeah, Omni look, Deadly Rebel in the chat. Yo, Deadly Rebel, seriously, sign Kenshi. up for the Coliseum so these guys can see what's going on with that, uh, with that craziness. We want to see people. Gate Mansion. Crafting a timeline is a complex... He's taking a mustache rides. So I should be quiet and not complain? Round one, fight. 1-0 one -oh for Ludi here. Starts off the match with the projectiles all over the place. Good flawless block, or I mean up block there. Not able to get a punish though. Ludi spacing that out really well. Bong Yakuza actually decides to stick with the Liu Kang again. How do you feel about this, Aqua? Uh, feeling pretty good now that he's getting a lot of damage on the board. Nah. He hasn't gotten mix off of the Lao Hat, but he has gotten at least some pressure. But outside of that, it's kind of been the same story. And can he change it? Where he's gotten that before, and Lou's just gotten one hit. He's got a sequence off to take the bar. Here we go. He's getting multiple hits here. So Ludi in the same spot he has. Walking next round, big bar meter. Yakuza turning around real quick. Round two, fight. I love that people are starting to scout that too on Ludi's approach. Let's see from the block. Oh, the moment you see Melina, the, the, the moment it flashes plink. There's just an ethereal phase you have to go through as a defender. Oh, there's a double hitting overhead coming from all. Definitely super dangerous stuff. Here we go. He's going to get those projectiles in the air. These are pretty good trades for uh, Yakuza here. There it is. An up block punish of a lifetime. Gonna cash out on some really good damage. But the wake up overhead, Malingo Boro, excuse me. You're, you're excused. You, you're, you, you can leave. I, I'm leaving too. It, it just worked and it looked like it had armor. It was not going to matter. Yakuza is on the board. We didn't even have time to complain. He's dead. Mortal Kombat. I didn't see that coming, Destroyer, at all. There it is. 1-1. One, one. Yakuza Knight sticking with the, with the Liu Kang. Not getting afraid at all. I love what I'm seeing here. I think I'm going to start stripping. Oh, yeah. How much? How much for me to strip? Damn. Yeah. Okay. Put me on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't do hey, 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 whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 I'm not going to do that, man. Come on. Hey, hey whoa. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Off, off, off the cow. We're about to get banned. We're about to get banned. <laughs> Destroy it. Put it away. <laughs> oh. Hey. Nobody wants to see the whale. Exactly. If if we can get if we can get a hype train right now on this uh, Twitch channel, maybe I might start twerking. <laughs> I've, I've never seen you twerk. I kind of. <laughs> I've seen you do a lot of things. We've been through a lot the, of shit uh, together, Destroyer. I'm gonna do the Omni Man pose. Wait, I'm wait, gonna do the. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the Omni Man. Oh, yeah, pose. the Omni Man. Pose. I can't wait. I can't wait to get that. Man. Sorry. I can't wait to get that rod off to myself. Yakuza looking like Zonio for a second. He Implementing. Implementing. Full fireball strategy. Wait, was that? <gasps> he didn't believe. Overweighted on it, guys. Back to back. And he has a back, back to back rounds oh, off of the duck read. He's on it. Yakuza kind of just clutching it out with very solid play here. damage so such a confident start we can tell him to play he's starting to fall apart they just cursed him back into this it's a powerful thing the commentary curse you know it destroyer it could be it could move mountains oh most 
definitely. Here we go. Ludi right now had something really nice started there. He's going to get the, the combo pick up into the stream. That should just about do it. And there it is. Ludi tying up the rounds against Yakuza. Oh, she just flipped her hair right in front of his face. That was disrespectful. She said, I whip my hair back and forth. No, she said, lean like a cholo. Elbows up, side to side. Who remembers that song? <laughs> Yo. What was that about? Oh, that such a good confirmation. Now the follow-up swung with this next mid anyway, and out of nowhere, Yakuza is on the lead. Two, one. Man, Lu is, is Lu Lao? Is Lu Lao the answer to uh, Sindel? He's trying to teach us something, Destroyer, and it's he doesn't need Kenshi, and we need to shut up about it and stop telling him to pick Kenshi. Look, I think we can all come to an agreement. Kenshi users are carried, but then again, they're not um, because the <laughs> amount of time it takes to learn how to utilize Sento the way a lot of these top Kenshi players use him, it's not easy. I mean, if, if, you, if you have the brain capacity to just indulge that knowledge and just kind of, you know, put it out there, then great for you. But me personally, I don't know if you, Aquaman, I picked up Kenshi, I tried that shit, and Sento, the way it works, holding the fucking cameo, this and that, blah, blah, blah. That shit was weird. Oh yeah, very weird. It, it isn't for everyone. But when you see someone that does that at the highest possible level where they understand every single thing, it's it's riveting to see. It but, is. Even though, you know, Sento can be overwhelming. I, I love that presence on the screen that he puts. Like, even if we were to make the switch to Genji here, I just love that if we see Sento on the screen, his opponent's gonna freak, and we're all gonna freak immediately. He's just so powerful. Like, he's going he's crazy right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, 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 wow. This is getting out of control. Yakuza getting opened up by everything Ludi has to throw at him here. And that's going to do it. Ludi taking the round. Yakuza, though, he's still up 2-1. He can definitely bounce back and close this out right here, right now. That's how quickly a round can turn into a meter building round. A sequence from Ludi to get back into this. Yeah, well, how, how quickly do you think he'd call in his strategy? Oh, the FGC are going to be the best at calling in stratagems. Are you kidding me? Especially Mortal Kombat players. It's, it's, just, it's the same as putting in a fatality. Tell me we don't have an unfair advantage, Destroyer. No, we definitely do. Just, just all the Helldivers out there spreading democracy across the galaxy. Shout out to all the Helldivers uh, waiting to log in. Good Good jump in. Catch the conversion. Might as well spend the fatal blow. I think this should kill. Is, is that, that a thousand? Just... Wait, I think it's gonna be close. It... Yeah, this actually might scale I'm quite a bit. I'm a skeptic. No, he's dead. He's dead. No, he's alive. You liar. The train? Oh, he has projectiles. He can't breathe wrong. And he went to the that thing has been abusive all night long. Once I wonder if he tried to do the jump trip. kick into uh, fireballs. That late could have been an answer. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, Ludi, Ludi did go for a down poke, so it definitely would have whiffed on, on fireballs if he threw it out. The question would have been if it if it connected or not. Another game five tonight. Destroyer, what have you done? What have you brought here? Your, your aura, your essence, your, I don't know. But whatever, whatever it is, it brought the game fives out. These game fives. Your mojo. Yeah, I brought a lot of mojo. Hey, get away from me. I got a lot of mojo. A lot of that mojo. A lot of them, a lot of them cojones. I got a lot of pelotas massivo. Did I say that right? I think so. Something like that. Sudden death once more. That means two to two. The first to one. He's nothing else. Nothing else matters. Except for this. Yakuza hitting first. A double snipe from Moody. Only one shot hits. Tries a snap. Sick. Got to increase recovery on the or decrease recovery on the Lao. Pressure's on. These guys are trading attacks here. 
Yakuza does have the life lead. Oh my god, what a flow. I'm surprised Yakuza didn't chase him down. Knock him out of the air or anything. The jump in's gonna connect. Actually, the low hat got him the combo. And that's gonna do it. Match point for Yakuza Knight. Rocking the Liu Kang. I mean, like you said, this kind of lays everything to rest, right? Although you're carried by Kenshi nonsense. This dude is rocking Liu Kang and actually putting in some crazy work. That makes us fourth beat tournament with a high and that was 40 percent on the last this is awesome full cash out he's looting out of the corner read some kind of madness i think on wake up maybe wake up jump goes underneath the hair flip breaks Blows the armor too and he can do no wrong can you who's it right now okay that shimmy was out of control ludi might actually have a fighting chance here he just has to watch out for that bar of meter oh my god what a read fatal blow fatal blow no didn't want the same position as last time, I guess. Even though he could clutch it out. Saving the resources, perhaps. He tried to set up an unblockable, didn't have enough Lao to hold. He's got away with a couple of pokes. Udi, I get it. Why? Oh, God! He so lost mean. three of the last, I think, four rounds that he lost going for either a stand one or a grab. That got micro ducked. Too many highs. Every single one, he was all over Yakuza Knight. Remember the name. Every high that man pressed. Every high he went for. That was some legit mind-blowing stuff right there. I mean, Ludi was on the verge of an insane comeback. But that's going to do it for Yakuza Knight. I mean, that's going to do it for Ludi. Yakuza Knight advancing to face off against Sunio now in the loser's final. This is when it gets serious. GG's. Yakuza Knight. Oh my goodness. Are we going to get a Liu Kang off? Wait, that, that doesn't sound right. Wait, what the hell did you just say? What the hell did this guy just say? Oh, no way. What are you trying to do to Liu Kang, huh? Leave him alone. Oh, apparently his power went out in the middle of that fatal blow. But it, it was killing. I, I am going to allow that. This is not the pro comp. I am going to allow that victory. As long as he gets power back. All right, looks like... I pray. Looks like we're going to have to give uh, Yakuza Knight a little second to breathe here. So far, these matches have been insane. You know, like you said earlier, Aquaman, I don't know what we brought into the air tonight, but my God. Was Talk you... about Game 5 Palooza, right? Yeah, how many total? More than half of the matches tonight were game five, I believe. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot. There's like 12 matches, so half of the matches have gone to game five. Half of the matches have gone to game five. You'd love to see it. And now, if I was a betting man, I'd probably say this next match is going to go to a game five as well. The real question that is on my mind right now is... Who the hell is Yakuza Knight going to use against Sunio? He's kind of been all over the, the whole little, like, uh, characters that he uses, you know? We've seen, we've seen some Kenshi, some Liu Kang. I think we even saw some Johnny from him. And they have all been working out. Will he, will he mirror match Sunio? Or is he just going to whip out the Kenshi and say, screw it? Waiting on an update from Yakuza as well. Yeah, just in case, guys. Normally we'll take a normally we'll take a break right before grand final starts, but this will be the perfect opportunity just to take it now, get it out of the way. All and right. We, and when we come back, we'll finish the tournament. Don't go anywhere. More Mortal Kombat coming right up.
Every single day I feel the pleasure. Double up the weight, let's make it extra. Working so my mother get a rest, yo. Working like I never know I'm best, yo. Every single day I feel the pressure. Diamonds in my eyes, I know I'm special. In the gym, I gotta get my reps up. In the gym, I gotta get my work in. I can leave it out of chances, make it certain. Yeah, I had to lose it, I don't find my purpose. Yeah, but I won't do that twice, it made me nervous. Let's get to work in. I'm like, check one, check two, boom, yeah, get these bands now. Want this, want that, gotta reach stand up. Jokes on you, boy, tell me you Every single day I feel the pressure. Double up the work, let's make it extra. Working so my mother get a rest, yo. Working like I never knew I'm blessed, yo. Every single day I feel the pressure. Diamonds in my eyes, I know I'm special. In the gym, I gotta get my reps up. In the gym, I gotta get my reps up. Okay, I'm here. Yeah. Ain't nobody on me shooting in the gym. It's always been on me, I always got a boom. Everybody eat before I got my feel. Ooh, keep it real. Ooh, yeah. I got my family in a plan B. If I don't get it, then we don't eat. I feel the pressure when I'm not weak. My demons coming like a stampede. They trust me, man, I got it. I'm never out of pocket. We ain't never playing tag. Welcome back to the Coliseum, presented by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. Welcome back to the Coliseum, everyone. This is week number four of eight of this competitive Mortal Kombat series. The winner is going to make the epic finale at the end of the series where the money and the prestige is on the line. I am your host, Mr. Aqua, and I am joined by the legendary Destroyer. Oh, come Mortal on. Kombat You're making himself. me blush. You're making me blush with the title legendary. You got to call me Death Captain Destroyer. Or Death you can call me Space Marshal Prime Destroyer. Or just... you can call me Super Citizen Destroyer. Whichever one you want. Now but we're talking. man, this top eight tonight has been... A fellow super citizen of Super Earth reporting for Duty Destroyer, ready for this tournament to be over so we can drop in some Helldivers, too. Just yeah. saying. So, um, I heard we might we're be to, having a little... We're, we're, uh, we're, we're ready to spread democracy as, as wide as it can be. I'm ready to spread those cheeks, too. But my question is, do we know what's going on with um, Yakuza, or... So here's the thing about we go to go. So here's the thing about that is the situation that may be unfolding right now before our eyes, guys, as I try to kill as much time as possible with as many words as possible in the sentence to give him time to respond is that I think what is happening right now is Yakuza. A couple more words. Add a couple more words to the sentence. Is, is Yakuza's power may have actually gone out. He may be fully cooked. Um, which could be a positive and a negative to this event in that we could be ending this a little bit quicker. Uh, but we may miss a match uh, and may have to automatically move to the grand finals of this tournament. Some people might be asking, you should bring Ludi back to life. Nah, he's already dead. He died twice. Ludi, I love you. No, yeah, I mean, listen, but, listen. You, but, you really can't do but, that because then it, it kind of just, it confuses everything at that yeah, point. Yeah, I watched it. But I hey, it. look, I all I'm going to say is, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, players are presented with just very unfortunate situations and it seems like that's going to be one of those situations for yakuza tonight here hopefully he does respond in like the next five minutes or so i gave him 60 so, seconds oh in the in the in the in the chat and i'm not i'm not seeing a response what's up tento yo tento in the building you know what? I'll just leave because I, now I feel like I'm taking Tento. Yo, let's spot. go. I'll just leave. Tento, come on back in, Tento. I'll just leave, Tento. I'm sorry, man. I didn't. You know, I didn't. You know, I'm. I'm leaving. All right. So, guys, let's just accept that invite and let's. Uh. Oh. 
Wait, mine disappeared. You also got Mirik. Oh wait, get Rex in a king of the hill with me. What? All right, it he, looks like I, th I think he. Wait, did he invite you to our? I'm confused. If I'm honest. So, you... so again, just to make everybody on the same page here, Yakuza Knight will be catching the DQ. Sunio is going to be getting advanced into the winner side or the loser side grand finals, where he will be facing off against Get Wrecked, Skylar White, Walter White, yo. Ooh, Hank, yo. Well, look, Sunio had a shot at taking this winner side grand finals, but Get Wrecked put a complete stop to that thought. And now he's going to get another opportunity to potentially win the entire tournament, to, but he's to that got what? out. Huh? Try to, put a, uh, try to put an end to that what? That thought? Oh. 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 Oh, he left and invited us all. Not all right, what's going on? These guys trying to get a uh, host advantage? Yeah, yeah, we're doing the the merry-go-round of what what, what 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 do they think this is these, these players think we're playing gears of war 2002 on the xbox and we're trying to get host advantage yeah remember those real. days <laughs> oh yeah host advantage back in the day was very it real. was real i i could not believe how broken host shotgun was in gears of war it was absurd Dude, you got killed like 20 milliseconds. Dude, you got before. one you you got one shot by a shotgun from 30 feet away. Anyways. Xbox complaints out of the way. All right. Guys, this we have is grand it. finals. We never forced one of these players is a finalist, which means they're done for the entire season. He deserved it. Now, so in Champions of the Realms, we actually implement a rule where if you make it into the finals, you can still compete for the other weeks. Is that allowed in the Coliseum or? You know, yes, it is, but you can't compete in the top eight if you make it. Oh. You, you are actually competing for points in another uh, kind of co series that we're running, which I'll talk about after Grand Finals, but everyone that competes in Coliseum, uh, I'll talk about it some more, but I'll talk about it now. Everyone that competes in Coliseum here is also entered into another uh, league that we're doing with the boys at HDGG. They run a Mortal Kombat tournament on Tuesdays, and everyone that competes in both, you're just automatically entered into another uh, prize pool and prizes provided by Hitbox. Oh, that's crazy. Hold up. Yeah. So, <laughs> Yo, Hitbox, can I, can I get in contact with this? <laughs> All right, here we go. Very nice. Sorry, He's going to go for the Motaro low, plus 13 on hit and on block. God, why is that cameo so close on block? <laughs> We were talking about the power of the Mototo earlier. Mototo. Mototo. Good throw. He's gonna wake up down poke. The dude is a maniac. Wake up down poke twice? I mean, hey. Yep, yep. Dude knows you what he's doing. You, there are rules of you know, nature that you have to abide by, and one of them is you have to establish dominance, Destroyer. I can see that. I mean, get wrecked. Making it really hard for Sunio to establish any sort of dominance here. Tries to go for the jump in. Oh, he got clipped by those projectiles. He gets clipped again. Entire shadow kick on reaction. That was a little nasty. Get wrecked. I need a little bit more. And he didn't get there before. If that knee was in range, I think it would have stuffed the armor. It would have gotten there before it started up. Slight miss range. Shadow kick itself for the corner. That looks so smooth. Get Rex needs to find some sort of answer against that jump back three projectiles, but I don't think there really is one. There it is, plus 13, straight into the throat. And he still gets the Motaro combo, what? Yep, there's enough time, it, it, it's absurd, that he can strike throw. <laughs> yeah, I thought the Motaro would have been on cooldown after that, but nah, he's still getting that dammy. You That's aren't crazy you, you aren't you aren't understanding how absurd Mototo actually is to show you. He oh, is. he's absurd. He, hey, listen. It's, 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 I got a it's, taste of it before the tournament, so the, the juice is uh is a little loose on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> nice teleport, gonna catch the block. And that in most spaces on the screen, if I'm not mistaken, goes to oh plus range. Look at the juggle. That was insane. <laughs> he walked what a shadow cake. He, he walked up into his spoof. He walked up into his face. I need to see that back. No, that, that, sh that shadow kick was a little too violent. 
Blackfellow, it is all good, man. I hope that everything is good. I hope you get better, man. Man, that replay right there. Shadow kick after ready, shadow ready, kick ready, after ready, shadow ready, kick. And shadow then right kick. there in front of his face, meter burn. And then the low had to seal the deal. I mean, sometimes you just got to do the most unexpected stuff to your opponent because it works like a charm. Sunio had no idea he was going to eat 72 shadow kicks at the end of that round. And he did. After what he did, he deserved it. Get back two games away. Sunio trying his best. He's used every trick imaginable, and now Get Wrecked is ready for it. So much scary when you combo off it, gets the turret out, and then Motoro, he got a stray. He just wanted to play the game. He just wanted to shoot his tail. And Get Wrecked says, nah, man. Put the Motoko away. I'm putting it away. I'm putting it away. I'm sorry. I'm, t I'm tugging it away right now. That's one way to get tucked. Not that again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we can start that up. All those, one all, all all those day, Sunio. Day. You know, oddly enough, Destroyer Sunio now three games away from getting tucked in himself tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tuck, tuck him away and boot up that Helldivers, bro. Yeah, you are right about that. Get Wrecked is going to be going up game number one. I mean, uh, round number one of game number two here. Things aren't looking too pretty for Sunio. Shadow kick right back into the corner. Goes for the teleport with the side switch. A lot of staggers here. Plus 13 there. A Motaro throw a little bit over here. Still on cooldown. Got him back. That might be ship. Nice reset of the sequence from Get Wrecked. And that will be all she wrote for a 2-0 lead. One away. Did the, did the, he actually did the Motaro pop-off with Johnny Cage. Did you see that? Oh, sick. Johnny Cage wins. Man, this is wild stuff. Get Wrecked up two games to zero. Sunio on the verge of getting eliminated from this tournament. And we are going to have our week four Coliseum champion. And another finalist to boot. If you can add his name to the champions list here. And you said that he was also a finalist over at Champions of the Realms. He is already a finalist in Champions of the Realms. This what, dude a, is, what a nerd. Yeah, he, he he's racking them up. He is racking them up. And look, you know, we don't know what these prize pools are going to end up getting to. Because I know your series just started. You got another, what, uh, four or five weeks yeah. ago to get this uh, thing settled in. And... Like I said, guys, if you want to see these prize pools get fat, you got to contribute to the prize pool. Uh, you know, it's definitely not mandatory, but we do appreciate it. It shows how powerful the Netherrealm community is. You know, I don't want to say it, but lately we've kind of been the forefront of content for Mortal Kombat. And if you guys want to support this stuff, definitely consider dropping a little something into the prize pool. It means a lot to us and it means a lot to the players. And thank you guys so much what for is that, supporting. exclamation point Maturino? You know it. It's also pinned at the top of both chats. So if you guys are in the live audience, just look at the top of both chats. It's sitting right there. We really appreciate it here. Thank you so much. Price pool is already over $500 here. And what's it sitting at for Champions of the Realms right now, Story? Well, last time I checked, I think we just hit 3000 My God! That's a lot of money. Yeah, and it's wild too, man, because like, I don't know, like usually when you run these series, bro, when you get to the finale, that's, that's when that's it, it really starts to that's pop it. off. You know, that that's why the players, like, all the players need to assume the prize pool is going to be fat because we, we really can't tell what's going to happen. But a 3,000 prize pool can easily turn into an $8,000 prize pool time come the finale. Indeed, a match point now for Get Wrecked. He, he wants a piece of that finale. Pop for both, both series here. Almost a full hype. Almost. A full bar meter as well. Catches the meanest whip punish you've ever seen. I, I expect him to load it here and try to style on us here in the end. Yep, here we go. I'm petrified. Hype time? Not yet. Yo, end, end, the, end the tournament with a hype combo. End the tournament with a hype combo. You won't. He has to get him off the breaker first. Has to get him off the breaker first. Oh, came up going for the shadow kick. He has the most successful raw shadow kicks I've ever seen in Destroyer with the, with the breaker. God, it's over. That's Just GG. like that. That's get GG. wrecked. Yo, he's Coliseum champion, yo. Congratulations. And I hate to say it, but he did it.
He did it pretty easy. Man. Oh my God. Yo, three O's across the board. I he's, mean, he six O Sunio. He six O Sunio. Can, can we look back at Get Rex track record here in this top eight? Was it three O's across the board? Not three two with Yakuza out of the gate. Three one Ooh. with online kill, but then he three O Sunio twice. It actually now, got I'm gonna just tell you this. I'm gonna just tell you this, Aquaman. I think we definitely got a blessing in the skies. I mean, nothing against yakuza but imagine if he would have won against get wrecked got into the winner side grand finals then this dude's uh power shits the bed oh yeah so i, I feel like everything kind of worked out the way it should have been prophesized here we got get wrecked taking it taking week four the champion for the coliseum here this dude is a straight savage he's been going insane with the johnny cage lately and it's paying off, man. It is paying off. Even though this character is beyond top tier, like, if you just stick with these insane characters, you, you just start learning more and you start playing a different meta with these top tiers, man. Really good stuff to get wrecked. G Gs. Thank you to the players for entering. A lot of them did this week. You know, we, we know the state of the game is, the state that the game is in. Um, so really do appreciate it. Um, we know numbers are down across the board, but hey, all of us that are still enjoying the game, still enjoying watching, competing, and just, you know, hanging out together sometimes on a weekly basis. We appreciate it. Being a part of this community, this competitive community. If you're learning Mortal Kombat, this is a great place to be and working on even more for you guys that are uh, just wanting to learn the game and to get involved with events as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I do, whoa, where? Whoa, whoa, wow, whoa, whoa. we're taking a little <laughs> triple. We're going to every scene right now, huh? Take us to the schedule, you know what? Take us to the, take Rick, us to the column Rick, are you merch. okay? Rick, are you okay? You know take, how, take, how are the take, buttons a, take us to standby. Hey, hey, re 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 relax, relax, it was one button, relax. <laughs> you take know what, take, it, take, take us to the hell diver scene. I got you, we're going right now. <laughs> just to just to uh, branch off of what you said um you know yeah this game is in a weird state right now but i've been a mega fan of mortal Kombat, and i would i would have to say nether realm studios because you know these are the guys that make the games that we love you know i'm, I'm, a, I'm a mk fanboy and i have a lot of hope for mk1 i really hope everything kind of you know fixes itself up we we, we think we're going to be getting a big patch in the next couple uh weeks here and hopefully this patch is a good one. I'm gonna tell you this. Netherrealm kind of been laying low. So I hope they're cooking. That's all I gotta say. I hope these guys are laying low for a good reason. I hope they're cooking. I hope Peacemaker's fire. I hope that next patch doesn't come with these things across the board. And you know, once they fix their shit, Maybe add in a, 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 a another game mode. Give us rooms. We definitely need rooms. We need rooms, man. Give us and rooms. We need. We need. F we don't need diet crossplay. Okay. We don't need diet crossplay that is only in certain rooms, and you can't. Gotta even be do, good crossplay. And we need crossplay King of the Hills. Gotta be good crossplay. Full crossplay across the board. I want PC, Xbox, PlayStation together. This is what we want. Okay. Yeah. Got this. Who wants this? No one wants this. Now, we what want. does that mean? <laughs> this is what we want. What the, what the hell did that mean? What is this? What's going on, huh? Or or is it is it this? That one. The, this one. This <laughs> that one. one. That one. Those that know, though. No, those that know. No, but before we get out of here, real quick, destroyer, I want to talk about some of uh some of our partners here for season number six, uh, and that is uh, one of our competitors makes a comic book, and they sponsor they sponsored season five, they sponsor season number six here. Check it out, Messiahs and Martyrs. All we ask, is and all they ask, it sure is. All they ask is that you go check them out. So I'm gonna put the link in the chat for you guys to go check out if you can. It's awesome. It's just an awesome comic book. Go check it out. Made, made, made by some awesome people. Messiahs and Martyrs. Made by Zanzoon. Awesome competitor to hear. You use that QR code. Link's in the chat as well. We've also got, like I talked about earlier, our other league, the Weekly Warrior League with the boys at HDGG. Here are the current standings for it right now. Everyone that competes in their tournament on Tuesdays, everyone that competes in our tournaments on Sundays, everyone gets points into it. Even if you go 0-2, you 
Even if you go on one, you get points into it. Currently, Ludi, who you saw here tonight, Bandino, is winning last week. Currently on top of the boards here. If you guys would like to, get involved. There's, I think, four more weeks left in Coliseum to get points and five more weeks left of HDGG to get some points in that. There is a separate prize pool with with big money on the line. There's a custom, uh, sorry, a custom hitbox on the line as well to everyone that donates to the prize pool. More information on that as well. Finale coming up in just a month and a half. Again, five more weeks of qualifying, give or take, for that series. And guys, that's going to do it for us here. One more thing to push, though, is that... Rick, I don't think that I gave you that to put in. Son, you son that's what she said. Of a, bitch. The, a, that's what she said. And B, I'm doing it. This is worth it. We're, we're going to put it in live. Guys, get ready. Get ready to watch us put it in live. Are you going to start twerking? This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, let me sit up. Hold on. Let me sit up for this one. I have no idea what's going on, but he's going to do it live. Uh, Prepare, everybody. Rick Diem. He's going to do it live right now. Get ready. Get ready. We're, 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 doing what, 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 it, we're actually doing it live right now, and that's the beauty of it, is that they don't even know. What are we doing? Oh, you'll see. Fuck. You'll see when it's done. That's the beauty of it. I may have broken, and broken our producer's brain a little bit, but it's going to be worth it because Destroyer... We have the most awesome new merchandise item that I want to talk about before saying goodnight. And that is our new Coliseum pin. That is right. Ooh. When you guys see me commentate all the time, I'm usually rocking a pin on my vests and on my shirts and stuff. Finally got one for the Coliseum made. Nice. Um, and they're available for everyone right now. Every winner of each week gets one. And oh, we decided sick. to make them available for everyone right now. 1990. Oh, they can't hear us. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They, they can. Yeah. Yeah we're, yeah, we're on there. Yeah, we're good. We're good. They can hear me. Is right now, it's available for everyone in uh, North America. Kalo.gg slash shop 1999 plus shipping and handling. Uh, if you guys would like to support the Coliseum and look damn good doing it, looking classy with a Coliseum pin. I absolutely That's a love sick this pin. thing. Absolutely love this thing. So, yeah, check it out. Kalo.gg slash shop if you want one for yourself. Thank you for watching, everyone. Destroyer yourself, thank you so much for being here. I love you, man. You're the homie. I'm giving I appreciate you the floor. That. The floor is yours, man. Talk to the people. No, yeah. Um, Coliseum, incredible show they're running here. Uh, if you want to get involved in more Mortal Kombat 1 uh, competitive action, check out Champions of the Realms. You know, we basically do the same shit that's going on here. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1 competitive gameplay. Uh, start that GG slash COTRS2. Sign up for week six going down this Wednesday. And thank I'll you for having me here, Aquaman. Peter Sawyer. I got you. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. I had a blast, and I can't wait to get down in some Helldivers. Ooh, that's right. We're about to go dive in, guys. Spread that democracy. Hope you guys are enjoying whatever game you're playing out there. Hope you guys are having a good one. We'll see you for the next week at Coliseum, week number five going down next Sunday. Take care of yourselves. We love you. Have a great night. Peace.